Okay. And I am here now. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to stream. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, super nervous and excited. Uh, we will be doing the first session of our new campaign, Incomplete Symphony, which may or may not also be called Incomplete Requiem. <laughs> I'm an idiot who mistypes the names of things all the time, but uh, glad you're all here. We're super excited. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, let me get the chat on my other thing so I can see better. Where is it? Oh my god. I have too many fucking windows open right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hello, Rusty. But uh, I am joined, of course, with the players of my campaign, who we shall go through and have everyone sound off uh for now uh let's start uh their images haven't finished loading so i'll go with the ones who have had their images load already we'll start with number one uh we have our my friend uh chris here a chaotic boy who can sound off and introduce himself and the character he's playing Just wait <laughs> what their audio wasn't i swear i had <laughs> I'm going to shoot myself. Nobody's what? audio is playing again. I swear I unmuted it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I am infinitely scuffed. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Okay. <laughs> Lightning round. We're starting over again. God. Chris, your character's name. Okay. <laughs> I'm... Okay. Why, Why am I Chris? Chris? Hell yeah. Like Digian. He is an Oathbreaker paladin. He's very smart, but incredibly stupid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> breathe. <Here we go. laughs> um, yes. Um, wow, my intro was so professional and nice. Um, yeah. Well, I'm Bree, a uh, pronoun indifferent. Um, I'm playing. Um, I'm playing Cypress. Um, they are a Manoi a wizard bard multi class. Um, well, bard wizard technically. Um, yeah. And um. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Uh, excited to be everyone's favorite character. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Magnus is gonna be. Um... Yes, Bree also has done all of the character icons for everyone you see on screen, and most everyone's minis. Uh, one person drew their own mini, however. We'll get to that when we get to them, and they can choose themselves too. Next in line is Bookworm, who is a regular channel. Go ahead, Bookworm. Yep, and also. I, I am playing a, a little a little construct boy who is only three foot four tall. So he he's past more or less. And yeah, he, he's a construct here and as you can see he has small small slits going down his face, vents for a mouth. He's a puddlesmith artificer, he, which means that he he always has a big ass dog following him everywhere called Gizmo. And and he and he cares for those he considers his friends. So don't step. Good, good. <laughs> uh, next we have in line is another many year friend of mine, uh, Reina. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm playing uh, Annika uh, Shadow Sorcerer, and she's kind of a bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Every party needs one. <laughs> She's an awful evil, which should tell you a lot of the her. <laughs> Next, we have a, a good friend, Alex, who also known for years as well. Yeah, um, as we know, we save the best for last, and that's me. Um, and uh, I use they, them pronouns, but I'm playing Drexel. He's also an artificer, but he's an armor artificer. Um, and he uses he, they pronouns, uh, and, um, yeah, uh, Brie was lying to you. I'm the best character in this campaign. <laughs> um, just hands down, Fuck like, off. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely no contest. I, 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 I am just the best. Um, I, also, I'm gonna plug the shit out of my art, um, I'm paradox on on Twitter, and uh, they're really yeah. good. Yeah, you should follow them and commission them. Yeah, I mean the only person that like even rivals my art on this planet is Brie. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> Michelangelo, fuck that guy. Michael um, <laughs> Michelangelo, he died. Imagine dying. <laughs> Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Uh I'm excited. <laughs> Uh, pronouns <laughs> for Magnus's question. Uh, pronouns are what nouns become after they spend years as amateur nouns. Mm. <laughs> Bad joke. I'm, an, I'm actually an anti noun. Um, <laughs> anti noun. I'm, I... You will pronouns only ever refer to me by my first name. <laughs> yeah, no, pronouns, he and I. Nope, sorry. You can't, you can't come here. You literally, wow, look at Drexel. They literally have dyed hair and pronouns. <laughs> wow, blue hair and also pronouns? Yes. Insane. Thank um, you for the sub, Rusty. <laughs> oh, God. But uh, yeah, with that, everyone is introduced. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm really excited about this. Nervous, uh, too, but pretty much all of us are. Because, holy uh -huh. shit, this has been quite a while planned this campaign <laughs> oh boy so this is set entirely in my own setting uh, uh, uh. it is called the setting uh, the, the name of the setting is deus mortis uh, let me get some music going to help uh, lighten the mood a little bit this is nice yeah so <clears throat> I shall now read a little introduction to this setting. Winds sing dark times for the world of Deus. Empires lay in shadows of their past glories. Civil wars break apart kingdoms, and as desperate lands seek to save themselves with the blood of others. Now the world is not ruled by science or compassion, by the gods its inhabitants worship. Mankind as we know it has stepped down from the world stage, its rule and control having been taken by their descendants, the Gindril, who formed the Drillian Empire. Though they are numerous and control more land than any other race, they are far from secure in their authority and power over the world. From the chaotic free lands to the west, the hostile, re zealot <laughs> the hostile religious zealots to the east, and the political turmoil within, the rule and stability of the Drillian Empire is in constant battle. To its west is the land of the Freelands, where our setting shall be taking place. Or where our campaign shall be taking place. Located almost entirely in the town of Arcanes and its surrounding countryside. It is here that our players shall meet. Our cast shall have an adventure that they did not quite that <laughs> but they call quite find new mysteries that none of them could ever have seen coming. They start here in Arcanes. It is a nice summer weather. The air is calm. Clouds are sparse and it is a beautiful day outside. Arcanes is a fairly peaceful town. Its population, a mixture of Drillian, the half like very clear descendants of humans, as well as a portion of the population of Ecosians, the desert dwelling magic wielders from the even further west Carcosian Desert. Common in its population as well are the Tethians, the short blue to green skinned uh, beings who descended from the stars many millennia ago and have found themselves in those other members of the society, though their technology far surpasses anything anyone else on this planet can do, it has fallen into disrepair and maintenance over the over the many centuries, and as such, their power has dwindled to a small city-state west of Arcanes. However, their people and technology has made its way into Arcanes and has slowly mingled and become one with its various communities. Though it is a peaceful day here, many are aware of what is going on in the Freelands. As far to the southern coast, the Yadrin Empire, the Shark People originating from the farthest western seas that have conquered the western, the Minoi homeworlds, or homelands, and are slowly seeking to expand their influence into the Freelands. 
Because of this, many of the kingdom's armies and the Tempest Agency, an agency dedicated to keeping the peace between the various powers of the Freelands, have sent many supplies and soldiers to help fend them off. As such, Arcanes finds itself rather sparse for people who can deal with the various problems, both mundane, political, and monster in nature. And as such, turn to hiring various freelancers and travelers. It is here that we shall be joining our party. Hold on a sec, as I get a, another document open. A call has gone out, various uh, posters posted around the city Arcanas, looking for adventurers who are willing to help out in dealing with various issues that are plaguing the city at the most. Five people plan on responding to this call and will be meeting the contact in a small inn on the northernmost or the southern part of the city. It is here where our campaign shall begin. That one. Let's go. This is very hype. Yes, I'm very, very hype. Yeah. And me being, being the idiot I am, oh, I never put the. <laughs> I'm very happy the end. I never put the miniatures down for everyone who's supposed to be here already. <laughs> uh, you know, scuff stream, scuff stream. It's that, that's that's um, my trademark. I six as as. Bookworm himself put it, I succeed by bashing my head through all the scuff and issues until I finally get through. <laughs> you are bumbling mm -hmm. buffoon. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> yes. Um, so what we're going to do right here is I never asked, did anyone have any preference for the order of their character showing up or is that free reign for me? I don't have any preference for uh, you. Yeah. Go for it. All right. I don't care. Hit, 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 we roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> roll initiative. Roll, roll initiative. Yes. Uh, you, combat. While you might. Other people. I use. <laughs> I fucking. I will use a lot of generic uh, minis that come with uh, the with roll twenty. Even though there's not really humans around, you can assume they're most uh, mostly either Drillion or Ecosian, unless otherwise stated. <laughs> so we'll just uh, drop a More few like into a Hosian. <laughs> a Hosian. I mean, wow. <laughs> I'm I am on a roll tonight, boys. Yes, you are. <laughs> So Bro. funny. <laughs> Magnus, it is Wednesday. It's yeah. Wednesday, my dude. It's Wednesday. <laughs> yes. Where's everyone? Magnus got a nat 20 on initiative, uh, so I think we know who's oh. going first. No uh, one else be rolling. But oh. I feel I feel as if he deserves it. Like that's such a wasted Rude. roll. I, I forgot to actually put this under <laughs> roll 20. I kind of need that just one second. Usual scuff I agree. Me. I think Magnus should go first. He's our little guy. <laughs> wow. Roll. You want? I said I should go first. We should go in height order. Height um. order. <laughs> in smallest the tallest. <laughs> smallest the tallest. Smallest. The, okay. Yeah. Sure. We can do that. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, for for, you know what? No, we, we'll let it slowly develop so that everybody watching can find out. The, the truth about our squad. <laughs> oh, hi, Soma. I will, I will indeed hydrate and stretch. <laughs> yeah, you better. I also have a lot of water next to me. I have a gigantic water bottle as well. Uh, this person, this one character doesn't have a mini, so it's just going to be their portrait for now because they typically won't actually be on maps, but so I didn't want to make a free draw a mini for him. So I'll just put him here. Oh. Everyone will know what he looks like. Free. <laughs> I'll post them. I'll post yes. them in I'm pretty sure I can slightly zoom in once it's a bit more relevant. Let's see. For our very first person to show up, we're going to go with. Hmm. I rolled, goddammit! 
You did roll. I forgot. <laughs> you did get it. Holy shit. You did get a high. Fine. You get to go first. <laughs> Our very first person to show up is quite of small stature. Though people are used to seeing smaller travels, as, as the Tethians are typically much smaller than most of the other races. This one makes even the Tethian look like a standard sized human. A small bronze covered figure enters the doorway. One could um, mistake it for a child. <laughs> hey, can you hey, can you give me a tug in for my steel defender as well? Oh shit, right, I forgot about that. <laughs> Accompanied. I totally didn't totally forget about that. Uh, it might just be a generic oh, dog no, one until fine. we get a better one for it, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's fine. Here, here. I, I can upgrade him later. Yes. Oh, I'm like, why is it showing people? Because I wrote doctor instead of dog. Oh, hey, there's a robot dog one. Oh, it's a premium one. That's actually perfect. Sorry, I'm being distracted. Actually, I like all these minis, so I'm just gonna pick this up right now and have this. Why are you no, buying on stream, goddammit? Don't worry! It roll 20 <laughs> doesn't dox me, at least. <laughs> but I can. Yeah, well... Be bad. Now we just gotta search. I know he are uh, man of two first names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. It's perfect for you. Accompanied by him is a mechanical dog-like creature that is much bigger than he is. <laughs> Hi, Hellion. Welcome to stream. <laughs> yeah. You should have control of your miniature so you can move him. The yep. description you were given was for a bearded Minoy man who should easily stand out as the Minoy are not a common sight. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so so Magnus already pads up to him, him with here here with his four foot hair companion in tow, and says, "Um, excuse me, sir." Oh, uh, hello there, young one. May I help you? Oh uh, yes, I'm here about for a call for helping out for local area. Is this for price? Oh, why, uh, it most certainly is, but, um, do not take this quite rude. You appear to be quite young. You can't be much more than a child, although you do have some interesting armor there. As he kind of looks up and down you, he hasn't quite noticed. Something seems a bit off about him, although he does seem to raise an eyebrow a bit as he eyes you and your companion. I am this many years old. And I just hold up up ten fingers. <laughs> I see. Well, I can see that uh, you most certainly are prepared for something uh, dangerous to come your way, and you clearly have a good companion. I am not quite sure how I would feel about sending a small Tethian <laughs> child. Gizmo. Gizmo. I see. Uh, he gives the I, the big metal dog I a bit nod. Myself. Really. That's quite impressive, actually. Yes. With the help of my creator. You you mean your father? <laughs> or mother? It's, some can claim that. I see, I see. Well, no one else has shown up, so... Perhaps I might have to rely on you. You may stay for now, but... Uh, like I said, you appear quite young, and I would feel kind of guilty if I got you into any kind of harm. But for now, you may sit with me. <laughs> Don't I'm, worry. I, how, I am, how? Uh, and if it, if it comes down to it, I can re repair myself. The man finally starts to kind of put two and two together and uh, raises an eyebrow. He leans forward and kind of folds his hands together, uh, interlocking the fingers, and kind of looks at you quizzingly. Are you, perhaps by chance, a construct of some kind? I am, yes. I see. I've seen many constructs in my time, uh, typically much larger than you, uh, 
You've quite verbose for one, I must say. I've, I've heard them talk before, but I honestly did think you were a Tethian child just wearing some very elaborate armor. <laughs> Here, I can take my skin off if you want, but I'll That's, be very vulnerable. That is quite unnecessary. Do not worry. I shall, uh, I shall take your, uh... It would explain your quite unique stature. Here, unfortunately, there wasn't much to make me, so... I am what I am. That is fair. One could say the same of all those who walk this world. We are who we are, and we must live with that reality. How, how quite, how quite rude of me this whole time. I'm sorry, did you give your name? I did not. I sometimes forget what is customary. I am called Magnus Opus. Ah. Well, hello, Magnus Opus. Do not worry about, uh not giving proper formalities, for I too have missed that. My name, people typically call me uh, uh, Jing. Uh, I have a fuller, longer name, but I typically reserve that for once I get to know people to un know a bit better. So for now, you may refer to me as Jing. Hello, Jing. Jing, sorry. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Pleasure as well. Well, it's hopefully, I'm hoping a few more people show up. I would not like to send you out on your own out there. And as he finishes that word, by perchance, a, another adventurer walks through the doorway. This time, much taller than the previous one to enter. Coming through the doorway, uh, her outfit quite quite catching attention as well as her long flowing hair an Ecosian female walks through the door now be uh, <laughs> I, as I assume she's she was sent here to look for the guy. Yes, yes, she is also here. Every, everyone is coming here responding to this letter for now because it's offering gotcha. money and coin and whatnot. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, she's going to look around the tap and spot him. Uh, walk, oh. That would look smoother than I thought it would. Uh, walk over to the table where this is. I, he I hear you offering work. If you I think you are. That I am, that I am. My name is Xing. May I ask what yours is? Annika Moore, at your service. Ah, Annika. Pleasure to meet you. Judging by your attire, I... Judging by your attire, I'm guessing you're from the Karkosian homelands, aren't you? I am. Hmm. I have not been there myself, as you would probably know more than many others, that uh, my kind are typically not welcomed in Iram. But I have enjoyed many of the things that I have heard of that place. He nods and oh. well, I'm here for the job, not for discussion. Fair, fair. Well, I'd hope to sit here for a time before I quite write off as any more are coming. Have yourself a drink. I shall cover whatever you may have for now. I shall go stand guard and wait for him. Very well. Uh, Annika's gonna nod and uh, wait the table, order a drink. All right. The barmaid uh, walks over and brings just a standard ale before returning back to the counter. She's going to found it not being wine, but figured this is probably the best she's going to get. <laughs> Very well. Ah, yes. Sorry, I know it's not quite the most high classiest of drink here, but uh, perhaps that can be saved for the aftermath of a successful job. <laughs> I can manage for the time being. Gives a nod. A few minutes pass before the next member shows up.
<laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad people like this guy. <laughs> All right. Next to walk through is a Tethian that very much is a familiar sight to Magnus. Tethian walks in, his purple cape flowing behind him in the slight breeze of the doorway. That'd be your go, Chris. <laughs> I know. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> hello, sir. Well, then. Oh, hello. Um... I use finally made it. As well. Did you say? Yeah. Are you here for my job as well? Uh, yes. Uh, sorry about that. Yep. Uh, I take it that's him over at the table. And he's gonna just yes, casually is. walk on over. Just, uh,. Well, sir, um, I'm, I'll take it you're the one offering the job with uh, uh, other people being here. Uh, the name's Digian, Digian Zolson. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, pleasure to meet you too, Digian. My name is Jing. And it is true, I am the representative of the local branch of Tempest. I'm glad to see some adventurers are showing up, willing to do some work. Tell me, he, he looks uh, you up and down. Are you from here, or have you traveled from afar? Uh, traveled from afar is, is an accurate statement. More or less. Um, it was a bit of a trek, but nothing, nothing out of, nothing I couldn't do. Excellent, excellent. Well, feel free to have a seat and order yourself a drink. I shall pay. Shall wait a Thank you, little kind, bit sir. longer. It is only, only noon. I wish to wait for probably at least another hour or so. But... Three people should at least be able to handle this job. So if no one were, sh no one else shows up, I at least know that, judging by you three, you should be able to handle it. <laughs> right. We can try. <laughs> Magnus's loyal little wolf gizmo, well, little in air quotes, uh, patiently sits by Magnus's side as he guards and stands by the doorway. <laughs> The dog's head perks up as he hears a sound. It is quite easy to hear the sounds of this figure walking through here. But their steps are not quite so light. Walks in through the door is another Tethian, but this one looks very different from Digion. Yes, that, yeah, sorry, that's yeah, okay, that's your kid to go. Sorry. I was, just, I was just like, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, so, um, immediately, you know, he walks in, um, scans the room immediately, pinpoints, uh, my guy over there, and just walks on over. Um, oh, and, uh, hi. Yeah, he, just, he doesn't look at you. Um, <laughs> uh, my five foot tall king has never experienced anyone shorter than himself. Um, yeah, uh, he sort of goes up to, to Shang and says, um, I am going to guess by the people around you and the description given that you are the person offering a job. Yes. Uh, that is, in fact, the case. Uh, How much my, money is it going to be paying? Well, uh, the fee is a bit discussable, depending on how many adventures quite show up. I'm looking at right, probably at what least... If a... you are a very good and capable adventurer? Yes. You can uh, have my money. <laughs> I am adventurer okay. myself. You... 
I am looking to spend probably a mere minimum of uh, five to eight gold pieces per person, but possibly more depending on how strenuous this activity ends up being. Hmm. And if you wish to work for more work as well, because I must certainly have more jobs than the one today, but we'll start with that for now. And I'm sorry, I don't believe I got your name. Drexel. Ah. It's, um... Good to meet you. Yes. He, he gives a nod. Good to meet you as well. Uh, forgive my forwardness, but... Though you appear mostly Tethian, I can't help but guess by the fellow horns on your heads that there's a bit of a noy in you as well. Yes, I believe my father was a Minoy. I see, I see. To be honest, uh, I don't think I've ever met a Tethian Minoy mixture before. Well, today is your lucky day. Uh, he gives a bit of a and smile. And he does a little, does a little bow. <laughs> uh, Jing gives a bit of a smile and uh, waves over the barkeeper. Uh, would you like a drink, Jaxel? Yes. Um, and he, he, it's, 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 he, he definitely looks pretty, pretty young, but definitely a little, definitely old enough to be drinking. And he, uh, is gonna order, um, like, whatever the strongest fucking alcohol they have is. Absolutely. Strongest drink. Strongest! Uh, yes, he gives a... <laughs> I would like, um, something that actually burns. Uh, Drixel gives a bit of a surprised look, but says, Well, I did invite the offer of for drink, so I guess I'll bear the price on that one. Uh, the bear maid hands him just another typical ale before she turns back to go and bring another drink. Uh, Shipping how much is it? Uh, don't worry. The, well, typical drinks are just a couple of coppers, but I imagine a glass of the good stuff was probably at least, how much do you say? And the barden just kind of like a holds up a finger, two fingers, and he understands that as, uh, you know, like a, 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 a 20 uh, coppers. <laughs> to which uh, he hands her them, and she yeah. brings a, a taller glass uh, that has a bright red liquid in it that has a very hefty, like, head of foam at the top. Yeah, uh. he'll start <laughs> sipping it. All right. Uh, she goes back to her countertop. Uh, seems to be discussing it's... something with the other people there. Acceptable. Good, I'm glad you are liking it. Where is... Um, he looks over you and says, uh, Your uh, outfit is a bit peculiar, I thought. That, that short fellow over there, as he kind of like gives a bit of a glance to Magnus at the door, was going to be the most... Hi! Uh... Hi, <laughs> wives. <laughs> Cute. And he uh, gives a bit of a glance at him and says, was going to be the most peculiar fellow I've seen today, but I must say your wings are definitely something I've not seen before. He sort of looks at them and like sort of moves them and they like have the sounds of like machines whirring as like they're definitely look like physical like actual wings that he has as a person but they've been outfitted with like various cybernetic sort of things um they sort of whir and and burr uh yeah. as he uh, sort of flexes them slightly and he says is that a problem for you no no i i i apologize if i caused any is offense there something there. wrong with my outfit? No, 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 not at all. I was just merely people curious. people not wear this sort of clothing? <laughs> kind of puts a bit of a hand, raises his handle and says, do not worry, I did not mean any rudeness by that. I simply wish to make casual conversation. You look quite fine. Yeah. You are just... One is you are not a sight one will easily forget. <laughs> Yeah. As soon as Magnus heard about her wings, 
Okay, hey, he would have he would have hurried over and started expecting them. Do they work? <laughs> My wings? Why would I have them if yeah. they did not work as functioning wings? That would be rather impractical. I agree. He does not know if it was typical fashion or not. Well, apparently it is not typical fashion. Can I expect them? The wings? Yes. I want to see how I work. Well, and he sort of looks at you, looks, looks over your dog and says, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Very, very well. You, you can expect him at your leisure. Lovely. Well, we are inside of a building last time I checked, so I don't believe that I will be able to fly without messing up those chandeliers. And he looks towards, like, whatever the, like, cheap-ass looking lantern is. <laughs> I'm so um, dumb, I didn't introduce the actual look at the tavern. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, all those chandeliers, uh, the biggest thing you would not want to wreck is that across the various walls of the, uh, uh, of the inn are small metallic butterflies that seem to be handcrafted. There's easily probably close to a hundred across the various walls of the inn. They're quite beautiful yes. as the sunlight comes in through the doorway and bounces off their wings. I would not want to end the life of such fragile things. So, should we go outside for this mission? You can probably see them in action. Yes. Yeah, I would love to see that. They have been altered to ensure that I have made the most of my Minoy heritage. Uh, uh, Jing right. just kind of <laughs> overlooks the two of them as they have this conversation. Seemingly uh, put a bit off by Drexel, not in the sense that he seems uncomfortable <laughs> around him, but that he did not expect to have an interaction like this today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's all good. I love this. Don't worry. I love this. Um, I'm as... playing the opposite breed of asshole than you're used to me playing. Oh. Yes, very much so. <laughs> but uh, as you have your conversation, the a, another person walks through, much to Jing's surprise. His sight is instantly caught as another Manoy walks through the doorway. I'm sorry, I'm excited. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, um, yeah, uh, uh Cypress, um, uh, um, they, they step very lightly, very elegantly through this, uh, this place, um, though they appear to have some sort of a, a, a vague limp, um, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, they, they notice, um, their, their attention is also immediately caught by, you know, the other Manoy in the room, um, but uh, as they're kind of stepping closer, they realize that um, people are drinking, and they kind of pause and then uh, go up to the bar. Um, and they're like, um, "Excuse me, can you have some water?" Uh, the barmaid turns to you, uh, walks over to a nearby sink, uh, pulls out a clean glass from underneath the counter, and fills it up with uh, cold water from the tap before turning to return to you. Thank you. Um, may I have, um, and they kind of lean over and count, uh, five more? Uh, she nods and kind of looks at the only other group in the room you could possibly be planning on giving those to, and pulls out a tray <laughs> to, like, start loading the water onto. I cannot ingest water. <laughs> God, Magnus, you don't know if she's that, she's bringing that to you yet. <laughs> um, I I heard. Yeah, no, I thought uh, I heard. Uh, yeah. Um, well, uh, yeah. Cypress is going to gather all of them, uh, and they're going to uh, nod to the bartender lady, and they're going to be like, um, thank you. 
Right. Um, you give like a slight bow of their head. Um, uh, and then they're going to bring the uh, water over um, for everyone. Um, kind of set it down at the table. Um, slide it over to, uh, t- towards everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're like, it is important to drink uh, while you are... It is important to drink water while you are consuming alcohol. She can give a nod. And sort of yeah. nod at you and say, thank you. Of hey, course. Ma- hey, Magnus looks up at you and just says, I cannot drink. Oh. Well, I will drink the water for you then. Don't worry. Um, yeah. Annika okay. looks up at the place. <laughs> I did not ask for it, but I would take it. Okay. I think the point is that it is a gift. Um, People do not offer things without putting something in exchange. It seems like they are here for money in exchange. And sort of looks over to Shang. Well, yes. Hello. Um, I am Cypress. Um, How are you? Jing uh, gives a nod of his head uh, as he holds the uh, water in his hand and says, I am doing well today. Thank you, Cypress. My name is uh, Jing. I am guessing that you are also here to respond to my summons. Yes. Um, It is very nice to meet you, uh, Jing. Um, They are very... Out of everyone, they seem most interested in... Sorry. Um, but they do give, like, a glance to everyone, um, um, well, um, I, um, what does this job entail? Well, uh, uh, now that I've got a sizable group here, um, I think we can probably start with the explanation, uh, but first, oh, before nice. that, I, I must say I did not expect to run into a fellow Minoy today. I have not seen one in quite some time in Arcanis. I did expect to, but only because I read that you were a Manoi. Fair, fair. Um, um, yes, um, it was a bit of a surprise and half the reason I read it in the first place, but yes, it is um, good to see uh, another one. Um, you are not from here? Uh, no. I actually grew up in the Tethian region, uh, specifically in the southern city of Dayani. I see. Yes. I was adopted by a family and, uh, spent my childhood through many generations with them. And, uh, eventually found myself employee of Tempest, but, uh, that is a full tale for another day. For now, please have a seat. I would, uh, like to discuss the matter I have... Seek it, so seek you all out today. Tempest, that is what we are working for. Yes, you wouldn't. Uh, you as a liaison. Yes, sort of, sort of like a hired on mercenaries, to put it quite simply. You're not proper uh, Tempest agents, and as such, don't have the authority and you know resources that would come with that. But we are always looking to hire. So perhaps if this mission goes well and you've proved to be useful, perhaps you could uh, be properly join the organization in the future. But for now, I will uh, get on with uh, the today's topic of interest. Tell me, have any of you had any encounters with the treants that, you know, roam the Freelands? Treants. Yes, Those you know. Those are the giant trees yes the the giant trees that have been filled with sanguinum you know that ever so rare and valuable resource that everyone clamors for in one way or another magnus writes about the mention of sanguinum i must consume what to live he, he says interesting uh, i i have I've observed them, but I have not interacted with them. <laughs> so we are finding some sanguinum for your company? Well, or are we no, murdering actually. a treant? <laughs> I would prefer not to murder a treant. They're mostly... The thing is that treants are 
mostly, you know, quite reserved. They keep to themselves. They tend to stay in the forests and whatnot, but we've had one quite lately who, you know, one coming to the city isn't a problem, so to speak. It's a peculiar sight, but I don't think anyone would be bothered by a giant talking tree. It, the only problem is it just seems to be, well, attacking structures with without any rhyme or reason to it. It, it During nights, it will come into town. It will go seemingly at random throughout the city till it finds some building or structure or a street and just kind of start smashing things before leaving again. We've tried communicating with it, but when it's in town, it seems to be in just kind of a a blind rage and won't really, you know, respond to us at all. And I know Trients, I, I have conversed with them in the past. I know that they are actual thinking things. They they have motives. They are not mindless. The, the trees that they can summon to help them can, you know, are a bit, well, probably are mindless, but I know the Treants themselves are typically quite uh, verbose if they open up to you. So I've not tried stopping it yet. We, what we, buildings have they destroyed? Let's see. Uh, the first time it attacked a, uh, a a sanguinum depository, so we thought maybe well maybe this one is bothered by the sanguinum sales. Perhaps it knows a treant that you know was murdered for its sanguinum that gives it its life. But then the next time it returned, it attacked just some random resident's house, and the third time was just some random street that didn't even have anything on it. It was one of the closed down areas of the town that's a bit, uh, you know, abandoned and worn out from just how old it is. It's, and the most recent one, which was uh, last night, uh, it came in and smashed a statue and the park side about it. Um, and we, we haven't figured a connection between them all. And who... Is there any owner of the Sanguinum Repository? Uh, the owner was a local d Drillion. We interviewed him quite extensively because we thought, well, if a Treant's attacking it, perhaps he might be dealing with shady ways of gathering Sanguinum, as I mentioned, but all of our inter investigation has proven that he his sources are, you know, reliable and humane. He doesn't harvest it from any living creatures. He buys it from proper licensed you know, mine deposits and whatnot. We looked up into his mm. history. He has no history of crime or any kind of shady dealings. So we thought, well, maybe it was just a coincidence. He just happened to be the Sanguinum store opener and uh, the Treant was just lashing out at that one because it was the one he came across. Interesting. Mm -hmm. The second so one... So what the... do you suppose we do? Well, are we... we... I wish, I, I, the Treant, I imagine, since it comes into town at night and seems to be in this rage, I imagine, and leaves, I imagine it's not in quite the rage once it exits. I actually went on my own to try and find it, and I did find where I think it has been making its current home in a nearby hilly mountainside filled with trees and whatnot. You know, a typical place for a Treant to live, albeit a bit closer to a city than one would expect. I went there myself and found it. Uh, it refused to talk to me. And I am not quite sure why. The only thing it could really get out of them is it said, I can see your corruption. And I have no idea what he is referring mm. to. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I figured that I figured that statement was going to to uh, cause that. I'm sorry, but Drexel don't fucking trust no one. <laughs> yes, no, that's fair. My guy talks in leet speak over sending stones so that the government can't track him. No, um. <laughs> oh my God. Um, okay, my insight. I'm going to be real, my friends. Mm -hmm. My insight score ain't great, so. This is... Okay, I don't know why it says I have I have a 14. I don't know why it says I have an advantage. I don't. I don't. Um, it's, it's, be because, it's because sheets automatically fix that under setting. Um, yes. A little bit. Uh, I'm fine, I'm I'm fine yeah. with... We know how first dice works. It's a 14. Yeah, I'm fine with... Yeah, yeah. Just always assume the first die... That if, if you don't have advantage, just go with the dice roll on the left. It's it's just yep. easier. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, yeah, so, so yes. I rolled a 14... 
please. Thank you. God, my DM brainlet having not run things is trying to remember what insight's done against. Uh, deception, I think, if, unless he's not deceiving me. That's fair. Aww. Oh my god, I didn't bring my fucking dice into this room. I will be right back uh, in two seconds. <laughs> wow, he is being quiet for a really long time. I think he's lying to me. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> but he's mildly suspicious. Wow. Well, 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 Mr. Shing, it seems like you have been caught red-handed. That was not um, <laughs> supposed to be offensive. I understand that <laughs> I, I promise that I meant the colloquial use of red-handed, which means that you have been busted. Sorry about that. But I found red. my dice cleaning out my other room and forgot to bring him in here. Valid. Everything about everything about him is red. <laughs> Alex made the worst fucking pun while you were away. <laughs> Let me guess that he's a walking red flag. Oh no, no that's even like, better. Oh no, that was <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is good? Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. I am woke. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, here, let me do a little roll on his behalf. Oof. Okay. So. You take a good reading of this man, of his behaviors and his mannerisms. You quite easily can tell that there is something about him, not necessarily something nefarious, but something he is kind of hiding. However, in relation to his statement of corruption, you do not get sense that he, in fact, has any idea what the treant could have been referring to. The man does not give off the air of having used any form of corruptive magic. He doesn't have any signs of of demonic entities or possessions or any kind of clothing or item that would tie him to some kind of dark or uh -oh. nefarious cult. He seems to be genuinely perplexed by the Treant's statement. See, I wasn't thinking corruption as a magical corruption. I was thinking corruption as in shady. So I, I, I've just been, I've just been, um, directly just sort of nods and takes a I mean, drink. if you want me to give an uh, explanation of that, I can also answer that. He does not give off yeah, the sure. signs of someone who, who has like, who is who is hiding some you know illegal or illicit background to himself. That is not the air you get from him at all. Just an air that he does mm. hide something, though. <laughs> I see. So you want us to speak with the tree ant? Yes, or... I would like a group of adventurers who I'm hopefully a. More than just a single, you know, middle-aged Manoi could be a bit more, uh, let's say, intimidating in terms of getting him to actually open a dialogue. And worst case comes to worst, hopefully force him out of the region. I would prefer him to not be killed. I, I have the utmost respect for the treants of this land, so I would much prefer that he simply be forced to leave and go back to the forests he came from. But... Uh, if you are forced to kill him for to protect either your own lives or the lives of others, you shall still be compensated, but I will probably reduce the amount a little to give some to the local charities that work with uh, maintaining the forests and helping the various magical wildlifes. Well, we can't technically control it if he attacks us. That's not our fault. No, exactly. Hence why I'm not really going to hold you fully accountable for that. Yeah, you're still well, not gonna pay. Well, yes, my... but Tempest, Temp if anyone on Tempest's behalf goes and kills any kind of life, whether it be a, you know, typical citizen of the country or a ambivalent or benevolent uh, uh, magical entity, uh, Tempest is kind of obligated to give reparations out. It's probably one of the most... Uh, uh, I don't want to give all you too much with Tempest's financial dealings, but it is definitely something we tend to do, is try and do what we can to make amends with uh, the various factions and politics of the Freelands. It seems like our job is to non-lethally deal with the Treant, yes. meaning that docking our pay for lethally dealing with it is completely utilitarian. Though... <laughs> He sort of looks over the group and says, I don't suppose any of us are particularly 
adept at this particular kind of situation? Are any of us master communicators? I was raised in a cult. Okay, well I that have... does not answer my question. Then yes. <laughs> um, I have uh, many uh, an experience of dealing with uh, both uh, business and personal matters. I'm sure that we can find a I am still learning how to deal with normal people. Compromise? All right. Then, what about oh. you? I look at Digimon. Digion, fuck! Digimon, go! <laughs> um, uh, diffusing a situation and Trying to talk someone down is not exactly something I'm too keen at doing. I can, but I'd prefer not to. Okay, so... You're not free. I can... I am... I can... I am quite adept with my words. I... Um... I was trained as a bard, and also as a wizard. Um... So... If I cannot do something with words, I can probably do something with magic. Interesting. Alright, then. You can with make up for me, then. Oh, envoy, then. We should probably yeah. introduce ourselves to one another and our capability. Oh, of Correct. course. How, how rude Including of me. you, Mr. Shang. Yes, uh, of course. Fair, fair, fair. I did not... I did not have all of you properly introduce yourselves to each other in, when you're the ones who are going to be directly working with each other, so forgive forgive myself. It's uh, been a bit no. of an exhausting time in the city with everything going on. But uh, yes, I shall start. I am Jing. I am a... Uh, uh, I am an agent of Tempest and have been for nearly 150 years. I specialize particularly in uh, stealthier forms of combat. Uh, I was trained as a infiltrator once by a Tethian noble, and I'll leave it at that, but I am quite good at sneaking around, hence why I was able to get the drop on this treant until I started to try and actually communicate with him. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I know a little bit of magic, but nothing too amazing or anything. I am sure the lovely uh, Cyprus here is probably more adept at the magical arts than I am, being a properly trained wizard. Yes. Tree, what are you good at? Uh, yeah! <laughs> I'm crying. I've been waiting. Um, I've been fucking waiting. I literally was like, we need to introduce ourselves just so I can call you Tree. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, no. Uh, Cypress kind of perks up uh, and they're like, Tree, um, is that my name? Min? Because Cypress Trees. Okay. It is difficult oh. for me to articulate Cypress when... I have a limited voice bank that I am working with. Yes. Uh, I understand. I will take this under consideration the next time you address me. Alright. Um, uh, I am Cypress. Um, I am uh, a... Um, I just started my wizard training um, a little bit over um, two years ago, but I have been very busy in the time since. Um, I am also a bard, um, I have worked, uh, and made music, um, basically, uh, since I was, um, able to, um, so I am able to both manipulate magic with, uh, with sound, and I am also, uh, able to manipulate magic with understanding. Um, other than that, uh, I am quite educated in terms of both uh, religion and um, the art of speaking. Um, 
So that is what I am good at. I am not very good at being intimidating. If we are trying to intimidate this tree out, I will probably be less be best left um behind. Um but other than that, I am pretty adept. I can see that. Thank you. I look at DG Mom. Um I'm never getting over Digimon. You uh, you named him Digion. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> listen, I'm not even gonna lie. I looked at Digimon, removed the M, and I was like, perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> he just uh, small nod and says, uh, "I'm a little more of a swordsman than anything else, really. I have some magic, but." Not a lot. Uh, there ain't much to talk about for me. But, uh, yeah, about, that about covers it. A gift in sword play is still a gift. True. I look expectantly at Annika. <laughs> Annika looks back and says. If you must know, I am quite the talented sorcerer and I specialize in the darker arts. In corrupted magic, perhaps? Uh... I can cast a wall of darkness. I can take control of your... I can force you to be my friend unwillingly. Things of that nature. Cool. I mean... If the treant is being cautious of corruption, that should probably be something we keep in mind. Possibly. No, definitely? I do what I do. Sure. I look at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just gonna be like, if the treant. The most if, important if, character. <laughs> if the tree thinks what I do is for the magic, it's not my fault. <laughs> Unfortunately, he cannot speak yet. Oh. I. Can he bark? Gizmo, bark. Hold on a second, I got a good idea. Just a second. Did he do for a wolf? I'm, I'm waiting for the wolf. Wolf. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect yeah, that. Man. This creature is incredible. He is. Thanks. I might eat myself. Boy. Truly. He <laughs> hey, Magnus just looks at you and he's and his eyes go dim. He's my best boy. Yes. Interesting. I have never made something like that or seen something so personable before. Hey, Interesting. Hey, he, he's my companion. Where I go, he goes. Well... What do you do? Build dogs? It's sometimes. I'm good with most machinery. Much more easier to understand than fleshies. <laughs> it just looks at everyone. Fleshies. Treants. Yes. Are well. treants flesh? Well, in a way, I suppose it, they are flesh. <laughs> yes, I agree. Machinery seems to be in the body. Flesh seems to be anything living. Yes. Jing kind of uh, speaks up and is like, uh, well, um, 
I guess I, I guess one could describe them as having flesh, though. It is more of as if it's like moving bark and moss, really. Although the exact uh, nature of the ten of the treants can depend on which sanguinium they're uh, carrying. Most common are the green sanguinum kinds, who are, you know, very much your typical tree just made walking. This one, however, mm. is a bit different. This one actually carries uh, gold sanguinum in it, which is makes this whole thing even more peculiar. Interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, yeah, Cypress, Cypress kind of, uh, looks up, um, and they're like, um, and what can you do, Drexel? I am proficient in cybernetic enhancements that make me good at what I want to be good at. I am, at times, good at being stealthy and in a pinch I can well I can fight things somewhat alright my and he sort of motions to his uh, sort of pulls up one of his sleeves and you can see like little things that are like glowing pieces of metal that are like embedded in his arms and he says I have Armor. It makes me not necessarily durable, but at least unexpected in a fight. I see. Well, that is good to know. I... Yes. I have not worked in a group in a long time, however, so perhaps my people skills are diminished from what they used to be. But I did used to be a well, I have experience with public speaking, I suppose, ironically enough. Well, I think that your people skills are pretty good. Do not worry. Yes, I hear I am quite personable. <laughs> yes, but not as much. Just dog. Well, obviously, <laughs> it is a dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cypress doesn't know Gizmo's name. <laughs> His name is Gizmo. Remember it well. Yes, Gizmo. of course. They write it down. Something that suits him. Gizmo. I like Wolf. this. <laughs> He's very He's so... God damn it. <laughs> Yo, Hiya, Jack. This dog Welcome is gonna be the fucking linchpin of this fucking campaign. Yeah, <laughs> this, this dog is the V is the V Diddy of this campaign. Let's let's face it, Gizmo is oh, no. this campaign's oh, V Diddy. Yep. Oh absolutely. We're gonna get um, so emotionally invested in Gizmo. Um, <laughs> so, um yes, now that we know Jacks. what we are all good at, I suppose. Well, you know where the tree ant is, so... Yes, yes, of course. Um, does anyone have any questions before I tell you where to go find him? Yeah. Magnus already raises his hand. <laughs> yes, my little <laughs> contraption friend. If our structures for our tree ant were attacking, where did the materials for those come from? That is a good question. Uh, most of them are stonework that was bought by the various uh, Tethian mining and construction companies many, many years ago. Arcanes is quite an old city. Uh, even then, I've seen it change in my time. Uh, all of them, all of the first two buildings were quite older. The street it attacked is um, probably the oldest in one of the oldest cities or streets in the city. Uh, but I, so I can't quite verify where those came from, but they would be many, many decades, probably even, even over a hundred years old, at least probably even longer, maybe even 200. Uh, as for the park, the park is most peculiar because it was a statue 
dedicated to the um, uh, 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 the old Drillian uh, uh, Empress, as Arcanes was originally founded by Drillian settlers uh, many, many, many centuries ago. Uh, and it was easily the oldest thing in the entire uh, city, so it being smashed is quite the tragedy, hence I've put this out as uh, many on the city council are now getting quite tired of peaceably dealing with this treant, and I would rather try and see it um, peaceably removed before the city guard are ordered to do something I do not approve of. As unfortunately, while I carry some authority here, I don't have quite enough to just order the city council to sit by and do nothing. So they've given me a time limit of two days to get rid of this treant before it uh, mm. arrives again, and next time they said they will try to properly slay it to protect the city. Well, I can understand that. What does not happen? Hmm? Sorry, what was that, Magnus? Yeah, I said I weren't sure what no harm comes to a treant. I would uh, very much appreciate that, yes. <laughs> So we have a time frame of two days then. Yes. I don't know I if see. it I don't know if it will attack the city within those two days. It's its attacks are usually given a, a space of two to four days, but this last attack was the most violent it had been, so I am concerned about what happens the next time he comes. Are there any witnesses to the events that happened? Perhaps uh, that could shed light on the demeanor of such a creature well uh the, the second time i the second and the last time i was there personally to see the first time i did not i'd gotten second hand from the guards who had chased it out um it didn't do too much damage to the building the building still stands it merely had it kind of its entranceway needing to be repaired the home uh, was actually down the street from a friend local friend i was visiting so i was able to actually catch sight of that one and it didn't even go, he didn't even go after the people inside, which was a Drillian family who had no idea why it did what it did. Uh, they're, from what I can tell, respectful people who do nothing to harm the environment or treants in particular, even. It was, it was, it, it did not talk proper words, or at the very least, not words I can discern. It just seemed obsessed with trying to find something that it thought was in the building which even afterwards we searched all the premises that it attacked and could not find anything suspicious, either sanguinum or any kind of dangerous artifact or anything. We quite simply don't understand what it's even looking for. The only, the only lead I have is that the park, aside from the general wants of the park, it very much just decimated the statue of the ancient Empress Devia, which we have no idea why this, uh, as far as we know, the Treants have, don't really have any particular... Uh, at least the Treants in the Freelands don't have any particular grievances with uh, the Ancient Empress, so... Tree. Tree. Yes, the trees, the Treants. Tree. No, I am talking oh, to yes. Tree. Right. <laughs> you said you were adept at yes. history, correct? Do no, you perhaps... uh, well... Oh. I am somewhat adept on history, but I am more of a religious sort. But I, I can try and see what I know. If that is what you uh, would like. Well, I suppose I wonder. I am wondering if this Devia has anything to do with, quote unquote, corruption. Uh, uh yeah. What do I roll for? That? <laughs> uh, that would be. You can either do a religious lore one, or a history one. Um, trying to think if there's any other. Religion works. Hmm. So religion works. Yes, you can. You there. Are, Devia has like religious contonations, so it is possible you can oh, uh, learn something from her. Hey, can Thirteen. Yeah, it? Cypress closes their eyes for a bit. Um, Here, just a sec. Cypress closes their eyes for for a bit. Um. Mm -hmm. And they're going to uh, think back on their studies. What does a 13 get them, if anything? Okay. Uh, 13 uh, reminds you of that in your religious studies, uh, the spreading of the sect of the ancients, the religion that uh, was founded by the Julian Empire shortly after Devia's rule ended. Uh, 
has no particular qualms against treants or sanguinum. Uh, they do have many dealings with teaching about corruption, not that the religion itself practices corruption, but uh, supposedly one of Davia's daughters fell to corruption. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Cyprus. Um, after after a bit of silence, opens their eyes again, um, and they're like, um, "Bevia is uh, the subject of the sect of the ancients. Um, they do not have anything in particular against um, that of Treants or that of um, that of Sanguinum, but." They do have ties to corruption in terms of, um, from what I remember, one of Divya's daughters apparently fell to it. Interesting. Well, perhaps that is a lead. Perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps. Um, Xing, um, I do not mean to derail, but I had a question of a more personal nature. Uh, Sure, uh, of course. What What is it, my dear? <laughs> What's your number? Um, <laughs> uh, Cyprus is like... <laughs> um, Cyprus is like... Um, they kind of like blink, you know, big eyes. They're like, um, have you dealt with the Mariettes before? Uh, I have, uh, on particular occasion. Uh, well, I've run in sounds that makes it sound a bit uh, negative. I, I've not had negative experience, but I have uh, dealt with the family a bit here and there. I've been, you know, I've lived in Arcanes for nearly two decades now. I see. Um, they nod. Um, and they're like, well, um, I hope that I will continue to make a good impression then. Yes, of course. I... Uh, quick, quick question. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Could I roll something to know if I know that name? The Moriarty's? Uh, yeah. The Moriarty's. <laughs> there you go. Know. Know. There you go. Know. My joke has made it into the consensus, and no. now they will be the Moriarty's no. for the rest no. of eternity. No! No! <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Digimon, oh my God. Moriarty, Tree, it's it's all coming together. This is this this happens. This happens every time. It's all coming God together. It. This is Alex's game now. So, um, I am the DM. This is all now. coming together. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what's you... his? Uh, is it history or? Uh, yeah, history would probably be your best role. <laughs> Based, I'm not horrible. Okay, no, that's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can't be perfect, okay? You, uh, <laughs> you get the sense you have heard the name before, but nothing springs to mind of, of value as to who or what they are. Ah, uh, yes, the hey. villain in the hey. Sherlock I'll home. Kill you. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop it. Stop bringing, it. Stop bringing other fiction into my setting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm clearing. I'm clearing. I'm clearing it. I'll still make the Moriarty jokes. I, I will stop. I will stop. Yeah. Jesus. Hey, anyway, can anyone else? Can anyone? Can anyone else roll for us? Uh, if you would like, if you have uh, anything in particular you would like to look for specific, are you just wanting to also see if you know that name at all? Yeah. Does this see if it rings any bells for me at all? Sure. 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 Yeah, so it says history. Ah, uh, yes, history. Yep. Okay, you know what? Not everyone's perfect. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oof, 16. All right. Yeah, yeah, I rolled 16. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, uh,. Having only recently arrived to Arcanes, uh, you actually have heard the name or overheard it in conversations that you have happened to hear from passerbys and recognize that it is, in fact, a a very well-known and very well-off local family that has an estate outside of Arcanes in the crunchy side. Uh, you do not know, you have not heard quite where their money and wealth comes from, 
uh, but do know that they are generally uh, looked upon favorably about the in the few instances you have heard of them. If, if I seem like a nice, rich family. Cypress hmm. just uh, kind of blinks at Magnus and then blinks at Drexel and then blinks back at Jing. Um, they're like, that is all I wanted to know. Thank you. Ah, yes. Excellent, excellent. But yes. Uh, before I tell you the location of this, I want to make something clear. This treant, as I mentioned, is infused with gold sanguinum. It does not mean it is. Thankfully, it is not as dangerous as the red sanguinum treants, of which curse I would be even worried about sending even just five of you to deal with it. But the golden ones tend to be very prideful, to say the least. So it could be a bit stubborn, but they do value their lives. They aren't mindless creatures. So I'm sure at worst, if you have to strong arm it out of here, I'm sure it will respond properly. So we no, stroke it. its ego. Great. Stroke its ego or give it a good whooping, as uh, an old friend of mine would say. <laughs> hmm. yeah. I do well. have another question. Yes? And if my body it's going it gain its tint from gold Zengrium. We will try and react to what at all. Well, that's a good question. I don't think so. They most treants understand that sanguinum is a valuable resource to the other ones uh, or to the other species of the lands. And gold sanguinum is both incredibly rare and typically isn't grown or found in forest regions. It's typically more in mountainsides, hence why golden sanguinum treants are quite rare. Is It's typically not found anywhere. You would find a tree that could slowly absorb it over the many decades it takes to create a treant. Uh, I don't think it would react negatively. I think it would either not care or hopefully favorably react to it and see some kind of kindred with it, but I don't know how it will when that gold sanguinum is on a construct, but I do know that they don't hate constructs and machinery inherently, as long as it is not actively damaging, you know, the forest and whatnot. <laughs> I hope that I can befriend it. Hopefully too, that would Perhaps make this whole deal a lot better. Helpful ally. Mm-hmm. Treants are wise creatures. It is it is always good to have one as any kind of ally or friend. Yes. So, are we going to go at some point, or are we just going to talk about trees? Well, how much no. will we be? Hmm? How much will we be? If I may ask. Uh, I am going to aim for. Shit! What did I say earlier? <laughs> you said five um, to five eight gold. Yes, five yeah, to eight. So. Five to eight gold, depending on how you handle it, and perhaps lower on the spectrum of five each, depending on if if the treant is killed. I will probably pay you five. If you can resolve this peacefully, like entirely without any kind of bloodshed, you can expect the full eight and. If you simply have to beat it and scare it off, that can cause problems further down the line if it spreads this word to other treants, but that'll still be a job well accomplished for now. Those issues can be dealt with when they arise in the future. So that will be a six All or right. seven, depending on, well, how you do. So I am going to be completely honest with you people in that I am quite desperate for money at the moment. And should we only get five gold? Well, that would be absolutely unacceptable for me. So let us aim to be peaceful in this endeavor. I will only fight if it tries to kill me. Well, perhaps don't Annie? show your corruption magic in front of it, and then you will be good. My magic... Right. I was more than magic, there's not much I can do about that. Oh my goodness. But yes. We can change anything about ourselves. Well. Yes. 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 I can change what I look like at any time. 
Oh my god, I can also do that. Who, who rolled the d20? I'm not getting an update <laughs> onto my feed. Did someone roll a d20? No. No? No. That's weird. A d20 just rolled on my screen with an 8. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got, I got uh, one. Rolled. I think that was mine. That was but, mine. That was from didn't my roll religion. An eight. So. But you did Did you roll an 8? Oh, you did roll an 8. Yeah, That's I weird. did. I rolled an 8 plus 5. That's yeah. weird. That's weird. Uh, that the I don't know. You're super smart. Are like you just having a bad day? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, it is a. Uh, uh, it is uh, the treant is located in a hilly small mountain to the east, uh, known uh, known as um, uh, 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 nightfall uh, nightfall. Nightfall Peak, as when the sun sets, uh, casts a shadow along the city. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. How far away is it? Would we need hmm? some sort of cart or horses, or can we just walk there? Not far. You can easily walk there. Nope. The and will you be coming to oversee this, or will we be just going? I have some other uh, matters to attend to, particularly alerting city council that I have found a group of adventurers to go and uh, deal with this issue. Um, but I trust I shall hear from you of your exploits. How should we contact you? Uh, return yes. to this inn after, the, yes. uh, after you complete your job. Uh, if I am not here yet, you can wait. I shall come back here as soon as I'm done with the city council. Hopefully I'm here before you, but, well, anyone who's had to deal with the politicking of city management can know that things tend to take time sometimes. Indeed. Yes, bureaucracy is the height of evil. Not necessary. <laughs> fair, fair. Regardless. Um, I am ready to go if everyone else is. All right, I've then. been ready to go. Yes. I am I am always ready to move. Excellent. And Mr. Jing, yes. should you not be here when we come to meet you after the job is completed, I'm going to presume that your tab extends to that period as well. He gives a bit of a sigh and says, <laughs> yes. Of course. <laughs> Forever mooching off of the NPC. <laughs> <laughs> you said you weren't going to play Poe again. Um, first of all, I am playing the complete op. Look at, look at how calm and unfun Drexel is. Tell me I'm not playing Poe. I am I am not playing Poe. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Um, I just don't like spending money on things. <laughs> Uh, hit, yes, hit. Cypress is going to, uh, like, gently, like, rest their hand on top of Jing's and be like, Thank you very much for the job opportunity. We will return shortly. And then they're, uh, going to, like, get up to, uh... Wait, can uh, you mark on a uh, map where we're supposed to go? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, he takes out a very simple, oh. like, traveler's map of the region, uh, and, uh, circles the mountain to go into... Or to, to go and search at. It is, like I said, a small mountain, more just a very big hill with some forest to it. You should be able to find it, as it seems to leave a trail of gold sanguinum here and there, so find any splotch of it, and you'll sure to find him nearby. And sounds quite pretty. <laughs> I sort of look and I say, can you circle where the attacks happen? Uh, certainly, and, and he... maybe, can you possibly label them? Very well. I shall circle each with a number and uh, in their order and so on forth. Uh, he circles the general location. I need... Okay, so... Jing, <laughs> I need your help. I would like your credit card information and the three <laughs> little numbers. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> So I'm, I'm watching very carefully as he... See, I'm proficient with forgery kit, okay? I'm just watching him, right? Um, I'm oh just being... God. I'm just watching him, like, see how he holds his hand. He's all those so things. Awesome. I'm... 
No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm playing in character. I'm a paranoid bitch. Yeah, so I'm going to um I'm just watching very closely his 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 hand, uh the way he holds it, the way he writes, just his general thing. Obviously, he's not writing anything particularly big, so I can't get too much, but just observation. Fair, fair. Oh. Um well, uh he does not seem to do any kind of trickery or anything with this. Uh, it appears to be uh, legit where he writes and he circles the four locations and labels them one, two, three, four in order of their attacking. Thank you. Hmm. I take the map. Um, yeah, can I roll to like remember, like just like to make sure I I I, I vaguely just have have how he writes in my head, um, just for the future. Sure, sure. Um, cool. What should I roll? <laughs> um. I don't. I'm uh, sorry. I've never done this before. Perception. I just wanted to. I just wanted to mark that yeah, I, I, I did this in case I want to forge something. Yeah, I, I would say either investigation or, or perception. Is the chat back proper? It is okay. What? Uh, sorry, my headphones just went off. Uh, what should I do? Per perception. You can roll um, perception. Ooh, I'm I'm good at that. He he hoo hoo. Yes. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not fucking good at perception. Um, never mind. <laughs> oh, never mind. You're really good. Uh, you've gotten a, you've gotten a good idea of how to tell uh, what is and isn't his writing. Cool. Jeez. Yeah. I'm like interesting. 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 Yes. Also, yeah. did you say my name, Bookworm? No, I just said that was a good row. Ah, okay. Sorry, I thought I heard my name. Oh yeah, baby. No, um, no, no, no. Well, let's go to the Arcane's map. Let that load up. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and I shall move the players As they're over walking, to Cypress is going to pick out their loot and play something for them. Is it good? Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna roll Is it my. Good? No, it's loot. Wonderwall. <laughs> or... okay, just a sec. I totally forgot to. Okay. Do Are you going to let me roll my loot? Oh, roll, okay. I guess roll. I'm just roll, rolling performance. Yes, you can. I mean, if you want I'm to roll for rolling. it, you can just sure. <laughs> I just, I just want to see if it's good. <laughs> that is fair. I'm trying. I'm trying. Roll twenty won't take any of my roll. Oh, holy oh, shit! Apparently, it's really loot good. Of all time? Are you kidding? The loot of all time. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah. The loot gets, gets your nat twenty for this. Oh my goodness! That was. Yes, the you begin to play quite the exquisite tune. Everyone, uh. Passerbys, even as you go across, uh, as you walk to the eastern entrance of the town, are, are quite entranced. You get a few cheers from them as you go through. Hey, hey, get, Gizmo Do just I get passed a long in time. You are. <laughs> You're not, not walking around holding a fucking hat out. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. I figured that second roll was. I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> you got a two bat twenty fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry that second that that third one is a that third one is a is a is an accident. But holy shit! Jesus! All right, hey, while someone's dice is hot tonight. There goes your luck for the rest of the day. God yeah, damn. yeah. Have fun in the com <laughs> in, in any know, combat right? that might happen. Jeez. Yeah, you yeah. Are yeah. quite skilled at that. Yeah. Yeah. Magnus just gives Cypress five gold. <laughs> oh. You're giving him five it's gold? So oh no. Five gold? He's so good. Yes. That, I did. So good. Oh, okay. I will be sure to speak with you. Um. Jeez, you better. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, Cypress, Cypress, Cypress also sings a little bit along with him. Um, but, what is you know, that just a little song bit. you are singing? Um, maybe a bit. What is that song? Um, uh, it is a lullaby. Um, it is one that I heard, um, 
Well, um, well, with my husband, um, and I had learned it um, afterward. Interesting. It is, um, well, I'm not sure if it is a nice song, but you sing it quite well. Thank you. Interesting. Uh, Cypress, Cypress nods to nods to Drexel, um, and uh, kind of glances around everyone, and they're like, "So, what brings you all into the city? Do you all live?" Oh uh, no, I only arrived here recently. Yeah, I only arrived recently as well. I came here looking to help people who need it. Yeah. Um, that's just admirable. Yeah. Also, heard of tech. I was because it was such, it was a bit of an, it was an anomaly after all. But yeah, I so I don't really. Yeah, I did travel here for this. Oh. I, well, I hope you stick around. It is a beautiful. Here. Well, as you uh, make your what, way what to the this... Oh, sorry. I got oh. here recently as well. What oh. about you? Are you from around here? Or, well... Yes, I live here on the outskirts. Interesting. Interesting. It is... I... I hope I do not sound rude when I say this, but it is uncommon to see a another Manoi around. Yes, I am not used to it myself. How? Um, he sort of felt his head. How old are you? 524. Interesting. Very interesting. And you? Um, I... I, he sort of just stopped for a minute and says, around 100 or so. Hmm. They nod. Um, they're like, I like your wings. Um, Thank you. I have modified them to be better than the vestigial ones that we get. And he sort of like opens one up and you see like, they're like kind of feathered. Um, but they're imbued with, with stuff. Mm -hmm. They are um, better now, I think. I can fly with them. I look forward to seeing it in action. Sounds incredibly useful. So do it I. is particularly useful. <laughs> but mostly it is fun. Well, as the party reaches the eastern gate here. Uh, you see that this mountain is quite uh, easily seen. You probably, if you had a good view from inside the city, could see it through the buildings and whatnot. Uh, the top of it looks to be quite barren, so the forest bit only dots the most bottom portions of the mountain, so thankfully you will not have to cli hi climb high up it. Uh, the area looks, you know, quite untouched. You can see signs that some people travel through mm. these plains and whatnot, but otherwise mm. it looks mostly quite peaceful. Well, mm -hmm. nice. it begins, I suppose. Uh, which way are we headed? North, north, uh, northeast. East, west, it, is, it is. It's this specific map. Did I move you to the screen? Yeah, it's, you're on Arcanas. You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I just haven't been seeing your pings. That's okay. Yeah, it's right over um, here. Okay, yeah, no. yeah, it's, yeah, it's just over right east. Mm -hmm. We should probably get yeah. there. I love how no one asked Magnus's age. <laughs> uh, child, baby, baby. <laughs> Cypress assumes Cypress assumes that Magnus is like either super old or super young. <laughs> Little. <laughs> What's your age? Um, yeah, tiny. they're just like... <laughs> they're like, tiny. Mom. Jesus. Alright. Well, I, 
I am small, but I'm big. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as you head into the forest, uh, you can even quite easily see signs that a treant has been through here. Uh, there are large indents that uh, clearly look to be quite left by some kind of large creature, presumably the treant. Dirt and leaves are kind of scattered and dragged about. And as you follow the path of these footprints, uh, you do begin to see splotches of gold that have probably dripped from the treant onto the ground, that have dried up and dyed the dirt gold. Interesting. Well, at least we don't have to track anything. It's almost like it has made a path for us. It is pretty. The gold covered wood. Mm. It, mm. It reminds Perhaps me of it's gold. pretty. Well. Um, do you, does the party simply wish to try and follow the path or look for anything else as they go through this uh, forest bit? Yeah, um... Uh, yeah, as, as we I'll go, do a perception Mar check. If you're down. As we go, hit Magnus was going to try and collect some of our gold sanguine to I would, to our the end later. I would actually like to cast um, Detect Magic to see if I can find any corruption or anything like that. Very well. Um, um, here, we'll do this in a certain order. We'll do... Uh, uh, I'll do Magnus's picking up the sanguinum because that's pretty easy. You don't need to roll anything for it. Um... You go to collect the bits of dried sanguinum to the dirt. As gold sanguinum uh, dries, however, it it you know it quite literally evaporates, uh, leaving behind not really much in the way of usable uh, sanguinum. But perhaps you can figure out a use for the dirt that has been dyed. You uh, take it and put it in one of your pouches. Hey, for Magnus looks a bit disappointed. <laughs> if he can look at us, such. <laughs> hey, hey, his eyes go a bit dim. Yes. God. Uh, for perception, um, you don't see too much uh, out of the ordinary beyond the uh, uh, tracks of the treant. Um, however, you do swear that in a few of the tracks, as if. Uh, as if they were there before, but were dried and pressed down further by the tracks. You do notice odd tracks, odd, smaller, not quite human tracks, but clearly, clearly something quite humanoid that's missed out on a few of the steppings. They're quite larger than any of you. They would at, at, at least have to be been left by a Yadrin, the large shark people. But the foot placement, the, the way the footprint looks is all wrong. It's very chaotic and sharp. Hmm. Yeah. Well. I'm gonna yes, I fly up. Point there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna fly up 30 feet. Um, I don't warn yeah. anyone. I just like, whoop, right yeah. on up. And, uh, yeah. detect magic, Among look over it. the area. Magnus that he's held our wings work while she does so. Well, he does so, sorry. Sounds good, sounds good. Um, as you fly up in the air and do your best to detect magic, um, uh, what was I saying? You concentrate and try to sense any magic in the air. Uh, the first thing you detect is, of course, the trance energy further up the path. Uh, the sanguinum in it is magical in nature, and as such gives the trance that magical aura that you quite easily detect. Um, but after a few minutes of kind of trying to sense what out there, you start to sense what you think the trance might be sensing. Coming from the city, or at the very least from the base of the city, is a very, very dull and uh, 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 low air of corruption. You wouldn't have even sensed it had you not waited, took in as long to, to try and see it, but it's very there. It, it does not feel fresh, however. It's as if there was some taint of corruption long ago here that just kind of has laid sort of festering and... and sort of shrinking underneath the city that seems to be 
well, emanating ever so slightly that perhaps something that's more magically sensitive to it, like a treant, could perhaps notice it and be agitated by it. I see. Well, at this point, I'm going to go back down to meet with the squad, and I um, land on the ground almost like... I, like, walk down almost like... There's no, like, bracing myself. It's like I'm physically altered to land perfectly. And I, uh... Sort of, uh... You see, like, the, the ha my hair sort of covers up half my face in that edgy anime boy way. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, there's, like, a blue glow from the eye underneath there as uh, he's casted that magic. And he sort of sniffs and he says, I think I have figured out at least a piece of the puzzle. Firstly, I know that the... Fuck you. Uh, I knew... <laughs> Firstly... I know that the um, I know that the treant is located around over there. I noticed its aura, so we could likely just go to it immediately. However, I know where he was sensing the corruption from. There is a faint, corrupted energy coming from the base of the city. It is nothing particularly recent, nor particularly strong. I was likely only to see it because we are outside of the city, and because I was taking a bird's eye view, but it could explain its inherent target of structures, as well as its dislike for someone who has been living in the city for a long time. There's a spark of interest in Annika's eyes as he mentioned that, but she doesn't speak up. So, most likely, I, I would say, it is sensing that. Hmm. Huh. Well, that is interesting. Um, perhaps we could reassure it that it is gone and dead now. Well, if it is gone um, and dead, it was cast a long time ago, or at least it is definitely dull. I wouldn't have been able to tell it was there unless I was looking. Perhaps there's something worth investigating. Uh, it, uh, Cypress nods. It existed once. Um, it can exist again. Perhaps. Yes. Um, that is how existence so tends to work, unless you are alive. Uh, well, even then, you can come back from the dead. Hmm. Um. Well, Existential well, in the chat um, tonight, boys. <laughs> would, you, would you still be you, though? Who knows? Not Has know. anyone here died? I have not. Can I die? What is not the that I know of dying? <laughs> Well, it seems like most of us have not experienced death, so I don't think that it is something that it is fair for us to comment on in terms of the experience and what it does to the psyche. Probably not. Um, regardless, um, there is some news. Um, I have noticed that there are footprints around um, and I would think that they would be that of an Eadrin, judging by the size, but uh, mm -hmm. well, they are, rather, they, they are rather erratic and chaotic. Um, all along hmm. this. That's concerning. Floor. Yeah. Interesting. What is a shark doing here? I yes. do not know, but perhaps there is an accomplice, or perhaps a something involved, or even a victim that has fallen, followed the path, and might be confronting it as well. That would be my guess. Yes. We will not know until we continue on. Yes. I got a idea of where it is exactly, so perhaps we can just go in that direction. That is very good. Thank you, Drexel. It is no problem. 
Yeah. We walk. <laughs> can you guys we hear continue. me right now? Road trip time. Yes, yes yeah. we can. Oh, yep, we can hear you. Okay, sorry, my Road voice mod time. crashed. <laughs> oh, we're no. good. I'm back. Fuck. Yes. Um, you should there. continue well, to sing on the road. It is motivating. Uh, what, what is uh, Magnus trying to speak up about? Yeah, I was going to say, Kiri, how are we going to approach the tree? Well, I was going to go up to it and say hello and ask how it is doing today, um, personally. I was... going to ask it. I don't remember. <laughs> so I suppose <laughs> we're going with um, Tree's plan. I do not want, you need to, get, want to hurt it. You need to get your memory bank checked. I do not have a memory bank. Do you want one? Well, I suppose I have a brain. <laughs> I would rather not alter that anymore. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> okay, so. I see. I have ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, but yes, no. Uh, 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 so, continuing on the path forward. Uh, uh, uh. You, you continue on. The trees are kind of sparse here. You're clearly getting to, like, the edge of the forest a bit. But uh, the prints continue, both the treants and the unaccounted-for ones. And the splotches of sanguinum also still drip. Until you finally start to reach a bit of a pass. The, the, the hills are curved on both sides. Uh, there's not really any trees here. But you can see ahead of you, uh, leaning against the side of it, uh, the side, uh, one of the sides there, is the treant itself. It looks to have formed from some very large dark wood tree. It's a, uh, it's bark and branches and whatnot are brown. The leaves on it are a bright yellow, as if it was, you know, the leaves that fall and fall. But they appear well, mostly healthy. They have begun to fall from the branches. Uh, you now realize mm -hmm. why the sanguinum is dripping so much. Typically, sanguinum does just kind of drip from the trees as they walk around. However, you can see along the side of it a very large gash. Uh, one that appears much too large and dangerous for anything that the city guards could have done. Interesting. Well, well um... It, I can understand it, being angry. It's, it's see, seeing the ga gush, Magnus would just go right up to it and start trying to cast mending on it. Uh, yeah, Cypress is going to uh, also approach, and they're like, um, hello, Triant. How are you today? Uh, the Triant here, I'll get everyone's minis onto this map so you can, uh, Kind of do what you want, where you want to position yourselves. Kind of think I know where most everyone is based on what has just been said. Let me jump you over there. Boop, boop. That works. Mr. Tree. Yes. Um. Oh. <laughs> the tree ends. He's so uh, sad. <laughs> yes. Brave. The tr tree ends. Uh appears to have heavy breathing. It's uh, kind of, you know, it kind of rises and falls as if it is taking deep breaths. Its arm is trying to clutch at the uh, wound on its side, but it is in an awkward spot for uh, its arm to reach. They're quite uneven and filled with branches and leaves. Uh, you can see the sanguinum moving through the tree, however. It has gold veins that move throughout its entire being. And as it looks to the group and opens up its eyes, its eyes even glow a faint gold. <clears throat> Where was the one I wanted to use for the tree ant? Damn it. Here, just a second. But yes, Magnus, you go up and you 
uh, uh, start uh, looking at its, uh, you know, its wounds. And uh, yeah, I just straight, straight up start trying to do mending on it. Okay. Uh, the mending. One, one... <laughs> the the it's mending one does. Spell. Uh, yeah, actually, do a roll for spell to, to to decide how good it does. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. Well, hey, it. I don't actually roll anything. It just says I single break or tear in an object you touch. Oh, okay, okay. Well, never mind that. Yeah, there's no actual roll for it. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, I don't know the D and D spells well enough, so I don't know what does and doesn't have rolls. Um. Yeah. I, I just got just... so you can have a look see as well. I'm just looking. Where is the fucking? To take it off. God damn it. Now oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> yes, the treant looks to the party. And uh, after a few seconds of kind of looking you all over, decides to finally speak. It eyes Annika a bit before not reacting much and finally says a word. Who are you? Well, I am Cypress Marietti. It is very good to meet you. Cypress? You yes. are no... Tree? Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yeah, baby! Well, yeah. actually... Uh, um... No, I, um... I spell it C-Y-P-R-U-S. Um, that is how you spell my name. Do you have a name? I am Gold Willow. Gold Willow. Can you spell that? Nice name. name. Like Gold Willow? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it doesn't suit him. That is. It, it is very literal. Very I like it. Pretty name. Yes, it makes much sense. Um, well, um, may I ask who did this to you? A corrupt servant. Well, that explains that. I think it's in the city, but I sensed it here as well. Followed it. Found it. It was stronger than I suspected. Interesting. Did it? I am oh, so got it. sorry this happened to you. Um, would you like some? Is is my friend Spell having an? Tell me. It is helping. He like uh looks over to uh uh to Magnus. Thank I you. like helping. Thank you. Small one. You are kind for a metal thing. Yes. I am kind because I am told I should be kind. As good as reason as any to be kind. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Valid. Not PM. gonna complain. <laughs> um, the thing, the corrupted servant that you mentioned, which direction did it go? Was it here? It was here. And he like raises up an arm. And, and points to kind of a, a, a it's like a crack in the canyon wall um, it, it looks to be completely natural but as he's pointing to it he says it disappeared into there 
It once was open, but its magic closed it. Hmm. Its arm, like, very slowly goes back down to its side. Yeah, Cypress is gonna kind of, like, gently help help uh, help its arm lower so it doesn't, like, bad. <laughs> um, yeah. and uh, they're like, is it possible that you could describe them? Uh, he'll answer your question in a second, but I also want to hear what Bookworm's trying to ask. Yeah, take it uh, uh, it, it was just something silly. I was going to ask. Hey, do they also have mending? Oh, does the tree ant know mending? <laughs> no. no. If our servant who went through our crack and roll rock <laughs> has mending. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've already closed off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, he just mended the entire fucking mountain together. I don't think it was a kind magic like yours that healed the mountain. And then uh, looks over to, to Cypress to answer her question. And is like, uh... <clears throat> yeah, sorry, you asked for a description, right? Yeah, Cypress asked if uh, uh, he could describe them. It was... Very foul. It was both metal and not. It was like someone took a piece of metal and grew something from it. It walked. Like Rex Yeah, uh, it's kind of. It, it kind of looks over to like the other people with you and looks at Drexel. That one? No, that one is flesh with metal added. This one was metal that grew flesh. Ooh. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. Very <laughs> interesting. It looks uh, back down to Cyprus and says, um. Its form was black, its eye red. It stood on two legs, and yet it walked on many. It left <laughs> footprints I followed, but it walked on many more. Its flesh was foul, like a maggot's, but not natural the maggots that will consume me one day have no corruption not like that thing no that is not happening go to you that is not an official <laughs> statement from dm there's no music coming from the cave <laughs> that will be stricken from the record <laughs> i <laughs> Well, I must say, is this thing that you are speaking of the reason why you have been going into the city and destroying things? Were you looking for it there? I think it is, but it's not the only big thing. Even when out here, I still sensed the city. It's the same corruption, but... This one was much stronger in its foulness. The city's corruption, in my rage, when I stand on that cobblestone, it's, it wakens something in me that I don't know how I feel. A rage that's in my blood. And it kind of like, uh, Megley moves its hand to like kind of indicate like the gold sanguinum that's dripping out of it. Like it's the sanguinum itself that fuels its rage. Interesting. Well, I also sense that corruptive energy from the city, albeit much duller than you have sensed it as. It seems. Like corruption, long 
passed. Yes. However, knowing that there is something much more corrupt here, it makes me second guess that particular judgment of mine. The thing that attacked me is old, but I don't know if it's as old as the cities. It could be, but it is a lot more lively. I would urge you to hunt it down and kill it in my stead, but I fear it would overpower you. Despite its size, it moved quickly. Far quicker than any tree ant I've seen could move. I know I'm a Interest. slower one, but I've seen some siblings move faster than you could see a tree move. And even they could not catch that thing. Well, Here we. Do we do we have to cure it? If it's been corrupted, can it be uncorrupted? I am no expert in corruption, but I know not all things touched by it are evil. It's like a sickness. When one gets sick, it is not because it wishes to be evil. It simply touches it. But that thing... It was not infected by sickness. It's feeding it purposely. I can sense it in how it looked, in how it looked at me. And in my blood, as it struck me, there was a dread I could not describe. As if, as if I was being touched by death itself. I don't mm. think it can be fixed. Um, I see. Yes, this is quite worrying. Do you think that it was heading back to the city? I would hope not, but perhaps this mountainous path of it leads under the city. When I was there, I was trying to look for an entranceway, I thought. The buildings could hide them. At first, the... That's right. Sanguinum That's one... The road. Yes. The Sanguinum one I had a bad feeling from, but I think that was my own bias. The second one was a house that I had heard music come from, and... I don't know, something of it seemed wrong, but it might not have been the house at all. It might have the street, hence my next attempt, but even when I went to the oldest and weakest part, I found no hidden way. And when I went to the park, I saw that statue, and something in my blood boiled again. I don't know who that statue was of, but in my blood there was an anger at it, as if it stole something that was mine. Hearing, hmm. hearing what? Hey, can Magnus or any of us roll something to try and find some connection? Ah, uh, let me think. What are the actual skills for everything for D and D? They are. I just open up a random sheet. Yeah. yeah, it it seems like this will be either history or a religion. Oh, yeah, maybe nitro. You could make a nature check. A nature check could be argued. Would Arcana help at all? Uh, Arcana would help because Sanguinum is magical in nature, so... Yep. Yeah, I'll roll Arcana because I'm slightly better at that. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell me your secret tree, man. Oh, geez, I nice. I like 21, cool. by the way. <laughs> okay. As you're, like, examining his wounds... And uh, 
uh, kind of seeing the sanguinum wound like heal and whatnot, uh, you make a bit of a connection that you know about sanguinum. Uh, sanguinum is said uh, one of the many it has many names in the different cultures and whatnot. Um, the Tethians uh, often refer to it as the planet's blood, and the ancient or or the more ancient societies and religions like Drillia typically refer to it as God's blood. So, you stand to you put together the connection that these emotions, if if the god blood word naming of it has any meaning to it, that these emotions in the blood the treant is feeling could be that of wherever the blood is coming, or wherever the sanguinum is coming from. Of whatever gives it its magical properties. Oh, you have been muted, Annika! Oh my, oh my gosh, I was wondering why you weren't talking. I thought you were just letting everyone go. To be fair, I haven't said much. Okay. So it's not that big a deal. I just now noticed. <laughs> yeah, so... It's, yeah, so Magnus would, would look up at Gold Willow and say, say, Curie, for Sanguinum is sometimes known as Planet's Blood or God's Blood. <laughs> if these names are literal, it's good for a statue of being of someone who's, who's Sanguinum flowed from. Well, perhaps we could go back and find the statue and then work from there yes um, perhaps but that does take us back to our initial issue which is that we have been hired to speak with you concerning the damages caused to the city while we are probably all happy to continue to investigate we need to make sure that more damages don't happen within the next two days is this something that you can perhaps work with us on so that everybody yes. ends up happy? Please stop. I do not want you to be haunted. Yes. Well, I must, even with the help of uh, your friend here, I need to rest. But... Do not worry. When I am better, I will return to the city again to help find this corruption. You do not need right. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay here and we can um, let you know what we find and if we need any more help. Um, right. Yes. Hey, Carrie, how would you have intended to help Rook? Well, I'm sure if I smash enough things, I can find the tunnel down there. That was mushing. Yes, that the entire point that we are here is to ask you to not be smashing things. If the thing we need to do to make sure that is the case is investigate further into the corruption below the city, then I suppose that is what we are doing next. But you cannot smash things, or the enforcers in the city will be, I suppose, let out to do as they will. And what they will is probably not very good for you. Yes, yeah, Cypress, like, take, Cypress takes the treant's hand gently, and they're like, Yes, um, we have been informed that they would kill you, and that is not very good. Life is worth living. Please consider this. I do not get the sense you wish to deceive me, but... I cannot just leave this matter alone. Uh, I know... Can you speak up? What? Go ahead. You're good. Uh, you're gonna speak up and say, um... Listen, I fully do want this dealt with. Taking the most brute force, dead on method is understandable from my perspective, at least. But, and I understand you're also wanting to protect the nature, the people, everything like that. 
But let us handle this. You, my friend, like you said, need to rest. We can do this. But if you get involved, that is a threat to you to, and to everyone else. It is easier if we handle this. And I swear on everything. I'll get it done. You don't have to get involved. Hmm. Could. That's a very good argument. Uh, uh, uh. How would you also feel about making a, uh, fucking. God damn, I'm trying to remember all the D&D &D roles. Persuasion? It... Hmm? Persuasion, yes, persuasion. With advantage, definitely, from, from that good, uh, argument. Who's rolling? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, Chris. Most. Yeah, mm -hmm. one is rolling. And then... Let me... Persuasion. I think yeah. that's how you do it. Oh my Whoa. god. Shit. Holy oh. shit. Um, Alright, no. Okay, we gotta keep making Can some I... arguments real quick. Alright. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um... Dr uh, yeah, um... Cypress... Cypress will speak up. I'm sorry, I have a good perspective. Um, no, I, I, I get you. Up, I was um, uh, and they're like, um, yes, um, also quite unfortunately, you had mentioned that you were not, um, you were not necessarily, um, skilled or knowledgeable about the corruption. Um, I think that all of us here have not only better resources to learn about it, but more knowledge with it uh, about it in general, um, as well as having more of a um, good standing with the city guard. Um, so, if you would let us take care of this, um, and meanwhile we could um, run it, uh, we could keep you in the loop. Um, um, uh, uh, I think that it would be best if you let us uh, take care of it um, in the meantime. And then, if there is something that we cannot handle by ourselves, we will come and collect you. And there needs to be no smashing involved. Um, Only help. I would like to um, also uh, speak up. Um, I'm going to be rolling with a different skill other than persuasion, so don't fret. Um, uh, and he sort of clears his throat and says, I understand that we have just met, meaning that we, you probably have no idea of our motivations in this situation. Originally, my motivation, at least, was money, but finding out there was corruption, it has given me a more personal stake in this entire endeavor, one that will last, well, far beyond what happens in this conversation. And he sort of, like, pulls down, like, I don't know, uh, opens his jacket slightly and shows, like, his sort of rib area, and there's, like, a pretty bad, like, huge, like, burn, huge scar. Um, and he says, I experienced corruption for firsthand at one point in my life, and this entire ordeal is quite personal to me. So you can have an assurance on that account that I intend to at least follow some of my curiosity through. I would like to roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh my god. <laughs> hey, can, can any of us as players roll against that? <laughs> uh, yes, if you would like. First we'll have uh, Jax do her <laughs> deception roll. <laughs> You have your voice yeah. mod on, Rod, by the way. Do you have your yeah, voice mod on? Be... That's not horrible. <laughs> it's not great either, but... Uh, it, it'd, be, uh... it'd be insight to row against it, I think. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's it's not horrible. It's not great, but it's also not horrible. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, the thing I, is, is I, he's... he's... I will say for, for for those who can tell he's 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 not lying about whether he wants to do this. He's just lying about why and, and where yeah, he's like this came from corruption. 
No, it didn't. <laughs> Shut up! No, no. <laughs> Not that he knows if it, if if it did come from corruption, then he doesn't know. He's he's not intending to. He he's hmm. just like, oh my god, we need to get this fucking conversation done with, and um, we are going to do this. We're getting paid equal for it. So. <laughs> oh my god, you. Yeah. Your deception almost did not work on him. Uh, but did uh, it? Do I get to roll persuasion? <laughs> You can roll persuasion as well. Mm, yeah, should roll, rest of us roll insight for those of us who wants to. Yes, yeah, so anyone wants. Why the fuck to... is Cypher's god? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Bro, the fuck, is, the fuck is this bullshit? Also, people I'm can uh, roll insight against this me. Is... Oh my god, <laughs> Cypher's. <laughs> yeah, he's he's uh, he's he's lying about the fact that. He has personal impact. He's personally met corruption, um, or personally gives uh, a fuck. He, 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 you might hide me a bit for this, but Magnus is just going to slowly turn to to you, Dredge, and say, "Why do you lie? But it's not nice." <laughs> <laughs> he, he sort of raises an eyebrow and says. Why would you think I am lying about this? <laughs> oh my god! He's just like, bro, what? Oh my god. Why, why would you think I would lie about this? God. Good. I'm trying to think of a response right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> between everyone's arguments and attempts to uh, talk and persuade and deceive the Treant, uh, y'all kind of <laughs> jumped before I could respond to Chris's roll. Uh, Chris's roll did. <laughs> Chris's roll <laughs> did. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> Chris's roll did fail, but the Treant was already kind of agreeing with I his argument. My grandpa, I was love going. My grandpa tree. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, but wasn't uh, going to uh, let himself turn away from it. Uh, with Cypress's also argument, and with uh, Drexel's uh, successful deceiving the Treant, uh, Treant kind of looks. Uh, well, at... <laughs> Treant kind of looks at the at the at at Magnus and says, "Let's go." It is. Rude to accuse people of lying simply because you think they are. What reason do they have to lie to me? You seem yeah. to care for trees such as I. Yes, yes, I care for any living things, no matter how far gone I might be. Yeah. Yeah, I've been taught to do so, so I do. You have been taught well. And he, like, looks over the entire uh, group uh, and gives a little bit of a nod and says, I will be accommodating, as many have been accommodating to me before. I shall not leave Arcanes alone. I know this corruption must be dealt with before it awakens and spreads. But I shall abide what you ask. As I shall recover, I shall also keep away from the city itself. Should I feel that I need entrance, I shall go to the entrance and ask for the travelers who spoke with me. For now, I shall go to the southeastern forest. There is a bird folk village, and they are kind to trees like me. Wonderful. Well, I, I hope you had a good trip, Godwin. Yes. Is there anything I can do for you? 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, uh, they were just like, uh, oh, oh, shit. Sorry. What? No, it's a, it, it popped in eventually. It like, it like, it, I heard it, it was just like delayed it for a sec. That's all good. Sorry. It's all good. Um, uh, the Trant kind of like slowly gets himself off of the wall and stands now that uh, Magnus has helped mend its wound a bit. It's able to to walk again. I do not yeah. need much. The Dread Folk will help care for me as I heal. I am only curious okay. as to why that thing did not kill me. It wounded me and then left. I do not know if it expected you to arrive and fled or if it has some purpose, I hope its corruption will not spread to me, but if it has, the bird folk shall help. Yeah, hmm. perhaps it was fighting for corruption in some way. Or perhaps, perhaps it was a warning. Perhaps, perhaps it simply wishes to warn me away and hopes that a treant leaving will cause less of a fuss. Than a dead treant. Hmm. Perhaps. Or perhaps it was drowned to your sanguinum. Obviously, this, you've reacted to it. This is true. Perhaps as I, as the sanguinum in me, lashed out at it, perhaps it lashed out at me. All of it is quite interesting. Should we figure this yes. out? Would you like us to contact you in some way? Yes, as I said, I'll be at the Bird Village. It's not hard to find. I'm sure even the town folk know of it. The bird folk are shy to outsiders, but not hostile. If you arrive, they will help you find me. I will tell them of the good folk who helped. <laughs> Cypress smiles, um, and uh, as just for flavor, they're going to give uh, Goldwillow uh, bardic inspiration. Um, Aww. Aww. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, no. Uh, they're gonna play like a little song in their lute, and he's going to have um, he's gonna have an inspiration die of a d6. I don't know what I don't know if that's gonna affect anything, but you know it's fun. Um. <laughs> yeah, Magnus did have one more question. Okay. Um, Fury, is there some sort of token you can be be bequeath to us so that our third people are more welcoming to us? It should for need of our eyes. A detailed focused mind. This little one has. It reaches up its hand slowly uh, and reaches to one of its more like lively branches of leaves uh, uh, and plucks out a, a it, its hands kind of like fiddle around in, in the in the leaves before it plucks one out and uh, reaches down and drops it into Magnus's hand. And you see that it is not a leaf, but in fact, uh, the remains of a uh, budding uh, flower. Uh, it's it's very shiny and metallic-y. Like, it's clearly like a flower filled with gold sanguinum. Or a flower bud filled with one. Magnus gently takes it and immediately sticks it into his top face hole. Uh, I am now a tree. Oh! In yes, spirit, I cannot you tell are, the one. You are kind like a tree. <laughs> as, uh, as Gold Willow, like, stands up, uh, your bardic inspiration has clearly helped to lighten his mood. And uh, help to make him seem a bit more optimistic about things. Oh, yeah. Uh, as he begins uh, 
to turn to go through the mountain uh, to head south uh, towards the bird village. Goodbye, well. travelers. I will go rest. Goodbye. And look forward to hearing from you again. Wave. <laughs> <laughs> little wave. Hey. I do a little wave. Hey. Yes. Ma Magnus Cypress already waves wave well. and, and hey, hey, Giz Gizmo gives out a happy bark. Uh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yes. Um, Cypress is going to look at, at a Magnus gold flower bud. Um, and uh, they give Magnus like a really soft look. Not a smile. Cypress does not smile, but they give him like a really gentle look and they're like I think that suits you it looks good you should keep it hey, thank you I shall treasure it forever and ever you can eat it too correct you feed on gold sanguinum I primarily run out of run over red sanguinum hey, ah. hey gold sanguinum just, just gave me my hello I don't know how it will react to me as a fuel source. Understandable. Though, one more thing, mm. Magnus. The next time that I lie to save all of our asses, please do not say that. <laughs> yeah, but lying is wrong. Not if it saves your life. <laughs> if that tree ant were to... It. If that treant were to, say, not trust that we had his best interest in mind, then what was to stop him from thinking that we would just tell him to leave, that we would investigate it, and then he left, and it would never be investigated? Yes, I will ensure what it, what it, has, what it was done. But there is no way for him to know that. Yes. Yes, it, it was came to worse. Here, I would have stopped him from entering town again. Right, just like the enforcers would. I would. We are not getting kill. paid to ask nicely. Asking nicely also includes lying. Yeah, Magnus just says, "Just stay silent and fat." Besides, I wasn't lying about wanting to check out the corruption. I do want to see what's there. I'm curious to see exactly what is underneath the city. As am I. And why is that? I have an interest in such things. Hmm. Well, maybe I wouldn't have had to lie. You seem to be doing well enough. You and Cypress seem to be doing well enough on your own. Right. Well, well we will let him know that. We will let him know that when he uh, doles out payments. Um, by an interest in such thing, do you intend to use it? Depends on what it is. I feel like you should exercise oh. some caution. I'm a cautious person by nature. But if I see that opportunity, I take it. Described as a yeah. maggot thing, so probably not the best thing to use. Yeah. Maggots are not bad by themselves, well, Gold Widow said. Mm. Well, this is a de well, this isn't a decision I can make right now. I need to know where it is first. Hmm. Mm. I'm in I'm, I'm entirely okay with destroying whatever it is. I just need to know where it is first. Yes. Well, we should also know whether our employers have any idea of what is going on. I had a feeling that while Mr. Jing did not have an idea what the treant meant by corruption, he was hiding some things from us. He seems like the kind of man that would keep secrets. Not that I would blame him. But should perhaps the city council or whatever governing body there is have any idea what is going on underneath the city we should probably tread quite lightly indeed yes. 
Agree. If, if before we um, return, here, here, here should we investigate this corrupted creature Gold Willow mentioned? Yes. He said it, it went into that canyon. Yes, there's a... Here, let me draw it on the map. I never did actually, like, <laughs> draw a little uh, yeah. thing for it. Uh, here, I, just a sec. I, I think I see it. Here. It's, it's literally, uh, like, across yeah, from what, where you're all standing. Happen. Yeah, while uh, this is yeah. happening, uh, Cypress is gonna turn to Digian and be like, uh, will you also accompany us on this uh, journey of discovery? Hmm... <laughs> It is called yeah, digging. I suppose so that means um, that he can dig well. Um, Jesus. Um, I suppose I will. I would prefer if this thing is really out for whatever. Really, I just don't want it messing with the. Uh... Right. Mm -hmm to help thank you um cypress sm uh doesn't smile but gives digian also a nod um they're like it would be very nice if it did not um awaken um considering that arcanes is my home so mm. understandable well it went into that crack there Anybody well versed in cracks? <laughs> You're doing that on purpose. <laughs> of what kind? Uh, <laughs> yes. simple. It's simple, it's simple to me. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, then why don't you investigate the crack? Okay, so walk up I and go and the Jasper. crack. Is the is it open enough for her to be able to go inside? Uh, no, it is not. There are like tiny, yeah. small openings here and there, hence the bigger black bits. But uh, even even like a uh, Magnus could not fit in there. Okay. Uh, hit Ma Magnus knows his head. Mhm. Mm <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, he knows it like he's disappointed he can't fit through. Oh. Hmm. Does anybody have any earth moving capabilities? Let Otherwise, me look at my force. spells. Um. Yeah. I have oh. thunder wave. Does that is that that? Ah. Can I use thunder wave on it? With thunder wave what open e it? What what exactly is thunder wave's description? Uh, I will send it. I don't feel like fuck. fuck. Yeah. No, actually, it is uh, yeah. actually a wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. Each creature in a fifteen foot cube must make a con save. It's like a damage spell, but I'm wondering, like flavor wise, if it's a huge thunderous boom of energy, if that could move the wall in any way. If not, that's fine. Um, but that's the only thing I have prepared at the moment that would remotely be this. Um, oh, wait, let me look, let me look, let me look, let me look. I might have something in my armor. If not, then, yeah. well, I have nothing, bro. Yeah. Um, got to be under your feet, one of us. Yes, I am looking. Um, what do I, I also have an idea. Ooh, I, if need I, have an idea. I, I have an idea what we can both do, Iodox. We both have the right tool for the job. If needed, we can we can both spend an hour making smithing tools and then use those to help widen the crack for us to get inside of. Um. Okay. Wait. Uh, uh, being a DM and not wanting to 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 repeat uh, certain things that happen to Moss of people wasting time forever with things. Does anyone want to actually try and like do any kind of tests to ex inspect the? Mm -hmm. Opening hmm. itself. Oh, <laughs> uh, and it goes in front of it, so she'll see if we can see anything. All right. Uh, outside of just it being, you know, closed, would rolling a, a can of help? 
Uh, yes, you could roll an Arcana roll. That would be a very okay. good roll to use. Pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. I was actually gonna ask if I could use Identify on it to see what magic, if any, was used on it. Uh, you can try. Uh, but first, for yep. Annika. So, running your fingers along the bits of opening in the crack and whatnot, you are quite familiar to this uh, energy that is radiating from it. You can sense the dark, corruptive magic that is used in sealing this entrance. And though you may not know the spell exactly of how to entrance it, you can tell that this is a type of entrance that does not open from being interact with it, interacted with, but opens from identifying uh, certain magical energies nearby. Essentially, you can tell that it will open for the people that it is made to open for, and little else. Okay. Well, apparently this magic in front of us was designed to open for a specific person or persons. Otherwise, it will remain closed. Hey, hey, do, do any of us know what what sort of people it's supposed to be used for outside Probably of those people. who are corrupted? Well, <laughs> I hate to break the uh, bad news to you, but I believe that it is for corrupted individuals. Are any of us corrupted, particularly? Hey, Magnus, does, hey, Magnus sounds no. a little too direct to lying is a corruption. <laughs> Well, I mean, magically. I do use Dark of Magic, but it hasn't opened for me yet. Well, um... But I might have, have to actually cast something. Delusion? I... Delusion? Yeah, Delusion. I do have a solution, perhaps. Um... What? Um... They, uh, kind of, like... Like reach into their little bag and pull out a, a bat. Um, this is licorice, they're familiar. Um, and they're like, perhaps um, licorice could fit through? Um, and I can see uh, what he sees. That is probably uh, a, the best idea. That and, has of course, and of course, take a, take a back from the crack for, so licorice can walk the way through. Here, yeah, Cypress is going to. Uh... Here, we were flying licorice be safe. Hmm. Um, we'll, if licorice we'll... is not safe, I can bring them back. He is um my familiar, so he will always come back to me. I am glad. Yes, would you like to give him a pet before? He... If he is okay with it. Goes through? Here, here, I, I, here, I give him g here, gentle head tats. Yes. <laughs> as gentle as I can be. <laughs> yeah. Licorice mm. makes uh, the happy bat noises. I don't know if you've seen that video. It's the cutest fucking yes. thing in the world. I think I've seen um... the video referring to. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Here, by the way, but where's um... Gizmo? Uh, Gizmo's just following you. I, I just forgot to put his fucking uh, uh, thing down. But he is with you. If, yeah. if you if you ever have the token down and you haven't explicitly stated he's somewhere, just assume he's with you. I did this all the time with, in the last campaign with fucking Kaon Snake. Ed <laughs> and, Ed yeah. and Edgar, um, yes. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah. 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 I was tempted by bits for Magnus to go wait. Wait. Where's Magnus? Ebony, Ebony does run so fucking... <laughs> Ebony does runs up looking for Gizmo. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Cyprus uh, is going to give Licorice a little uh, head kiss, um, and then uh, send him through uh, the crack. Um, um, I don't know if he fits. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, you look for the largest crack. Uh, and your little bat tries to squeeze his way through. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes some struggling, 
Uh, but he does manage to just barely fit through the hole. Cool. Um, well, as an action, I can see through my familiars what it hears. Um, so, uh, Cypress is going to sit down next to the crack, uh, crisscross applesauce, and uh, do that. Um, what is my boy seeing? Okay. So, as the bat kind of crawls down the other side of the opening, uh, the... Oh, wow. Uh, sorry, real quick interruption. Uh, thank you for the raid, uh, Neo Azazel. As as I always suck at saying your name. But uh, welcome to stream, everyone. We're just in the middle of, can Hi, of our Neo first Azazel. session here. <laughs> Hello. Let's fucking go. Hey. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Cypress, your little bat friend, as it crawls down the wall, uh, it looks through the... Oh, shit, wrong one. It looks through to the other side. Uh, uh, uh. And it appears... There appears nothing immediately eye-catching. It appears to be a tunnel that is, you know, roughly carved into the stone. It's not very, uh, 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 uh safe or, or, or smooth or anything. It's very rough, very, very bare-bones tunneling. Uh, and it appears to go deeper and down into the mountainside. What do you see? It is... It goes further into the mountainside. Um, it is very dark and very... Through there. Um, do I see anything that would like give us like a really good indicator of... like? Anything, or should I roll that? <laughs> uh, you can make a perception roll for that. Okay, do I roll as bat or do, do I roll as sigh? I always be confused on how familiar. I yeah. don't know how D and D intends it. I will say you're it's... supposed to roll as your animal. Are you um, okay? Okay. For for okay, things well, that let me look require... up that. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. things that require like your animals, like eyesight and strength and all those things, you roll as the animal. Okay. I think anything that involves your mind, like history, you would roll as yourself. Gotcha. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah. What do your um, bat eyes see? They are a batty what do my bat rat. <laughs> um, perception is wisdom. Uh, okay, so this is going to be a plus one to whatever this this is the first time I've had a familiar. I'm very sorry. No worries. Oh, no. Wow, that's a three. Right. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. it, your it, luck it. had to fucking run out. Yes. Yeah. Well, Tec I mean, technically, yeah. this isn't Cypress rolling, so they haven't broken their streak of amazing rolls. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, I will say this. I will say this. I will say this. But do have echo location as well, but they do. But it's still be perception. Yes. No. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's just unfortunate. It's it's a really low no. hole. The bat the bat can see in terms of being able like the if the bat flew down the hole, it, it could get itself ready down there. You know, it uses echolocation, but in terms of trying to find anything that's like stand out or gives you any indication of this creature or anything about this, your bat does not see anything. It just appears to be a dugged out cave that descends into the mountainside. Hmm. Yes, all I can tell. And all the curious can tell is that it is a uh, dugout cave. Um, there is nothing particularly eye-catching. Hmm. Perhaps it is uh, simply something somewhere it passed through. Um, but I cannot, um, I cannot gather much more information than that. I believe well, that it is yeah. best if we return to this city, perhaps. Yeah. Um... Hey, Magnus turns to Anaka real quickly and asks, Hey, Kuri, you said what about crack responds to certain energies? I don't know if you're muted oh. again. <laughs> oh, 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 he's talking to me? I didn't hear yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, I, can, I, didn't, I didn't hear you, you were talking to me. Uh, she's like, uh, yes. Dark um, magic, yeah. but corrupted magic in particular. Yeah, um, I was gonna say, Magnus walks up to the uh, crack and casts identify on it to see if he can get any particular school or anything. All right, I'm yeah, going to allow this. Yeah. 
<laughs> yep. So I just, it's just shit over here. Yeah, Magnus just goes over and puts his hand on it for a minute or so while he casts identify. And there's no actual role for identify, it just tells you or it doesn't. Alright. I can put this here so you can double check. Yes, thank you. Let me read exactly how it works. Yeah. Touch out the case spell. Yeah, I will point out magic imbued object here. You know its properties and how to use them. Okay. So you touch it, uh, and you instantly tell that it is, you know, it is a foul dark magic. Uh, its charge is everlasting. You you can this feels it, it feels absent of charge. Like it feels like it shouldn't have any magical energy, yet clearly it does because you know it opened and closed recently for a entity of some kind. Um, and you learn that it opens up for only uh, members of the distinct uh, 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 aura of corruption. Uh, fuck! I just noticed what you wrote. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> knew this. Knew this would happen it's eventually. A it's a squad. It's a squad. Blooming root. <laughs> oh boy. Um, but yes, it opens for specific entities. You can't quite understand what these entities are, other than that yeah. uh, they are the they are the description of what the uh, gold willow gave you, which leads to the implication that there is more than one. Oh no! Yeah, do I yeah, oh, do I get any? That uh, is get... extreme yikes. Do you get any what? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, do I do I get any sense what it can be forced open? Oh, is it magically reinforced as well? Um, it can. Uh, you get the sense that since it is a dark magic, uh, powerful enough holy magic could potentially open it, or powerful enough corruption magic that could overpower it. Um, but it is definitely yeah. not a magic that you or anyone in your party that you're aware of, at least, could be able to do. <gasps> Digimon. Hit Mark. Paladin, hit. Right? No, hit. he's an oath breaker, Al. Oh God, hit. fucking damn it! <laughs> God damn it. I was gonna say, hit. Hit. fuck you, hit. Digimon. Hit. I'm hit. sorry. Hit. Ma hit. Yep. Hey, Ma Ma Magnus turns to the rest of our group and says, "Hey, does anyone have magic with holes in it?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. God. I love him. <laughs> I usually patch my holes. I am sorry, I do not... Well, I, I get for fe- I get for feeling what but- you... But, I get for feeling but the magic with enough holes in it can overcome this corruption and- and grant us passage. Oh. Yes, we will try and find that magic. I will attempt to learn. A magic full of holes sounds particularly weak. I mean, it is a hole that we are trying to open. It would make sense that you would use hole magic to open the hole. <laughs> I hate us. I hate us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We I... just accepted it. We just accepted it. <laughs> I could try seeing if it would expand to my magic in any form. Yes. Do you have whole magic? No, but I I have dark magic, which it's made out of. It, it, it made it powerful I enough, but I, I feel it's worth a shot. Well. Yeah, so, so she's going to cast, uh, let's say, Mage Hand in front of it. Okay. So... Basically, just to use magic in front of it, see if it responds at all. Okay. The exact spell doesn't really matter. All right. Uh, you attempt to cast uh, what corruptive magic you know into the wall itself directly, uh, and the wall does not seem to be a, a budge. Your power is just simply not uh, strong enough to overcome overcome the programming of this door, and as such, it remains sealed. Okay, she's gonna... Uh, 
I figured as much. I'm not yet powerful enough. Hmm. Well, I um, guess that means this is the perfect time for us to do something else. Indeed. Yeah, one more question, Rut. When yep. I did identify, mm -hmm. did I get an ID for how far, how far far corruption spread? Like, hey, is there pos possibly I somewhere else not covered by it, but we can make a new entrance to a tunnel? Uh, the corruptive barrier seems to, like, go into the tunnel itself. You could dig into the mountainside to get to the tunnel, but you still wouldn't be able to break into the tunnel. It goes on for quite a ways. In theory, you could eventually dig past it, but it is a very powerful enchantment, and it would take quite a great amount of effort to get uh, past its, its reach. It seems as if Fair the enough. best thing for us to do is to investigate what is in the city. Or at least to get paid first, and then do that. Yes, it seems we have yes, exhausted our um, current options here. I think that it would probably be beneficial if we did not initially tell our employer of the discovery we have made in case it impacts bureaucracy. It seems like it would. Um, I, I don't have... see any reason to keep this hidden. Well, it's, it, it seems to be a pretty important factor um, for them to be aware of. Yes, but I would rather not be interfered with. Perhaps he might be a trustable person, though he is I don't necessarily think that is the case, but he is working within a system of people that could very well know already about what the issue is and try to stop us. Hey, hey can yes, we simply uh, request permission for him um, to do our own investigations? I don't trust bureaucrats. Well, this is tied to what we were asked to do anyways. So, this can be considered an extension of that. Well, first of all, I would rather not call it an extension of that, because that would mean that we would be paid 8 gold for doing further investigations. That is... The way I was, the way I was thinking eight about eight. it is we... The way, I would think, the way I was thinking about it is we did more work and now we're getting more... Now we should, should, should be paid more. They... From my experience, we would probably have to make it a separate job. Hmm. Well, we will see when we get there. Um, he probably knows how the jobs work better than we do. Um, I suppose. But, um, uh, Drexel, um, you mentioned mm. that you were low on money, correct? Somewhat, yes. Are you staying at an inn? No. Well, I was, but I don't have any money left. Oh. Oh. Um. Would you like to find okay. one, and then I can and get you a free room? This offer also extends to everyone else who. I have no need for beds. Hang it. If you are offering, I would happily do so. However, if there is something you would like in return, I would like to know that up front. No. All right. I like performing, and I like um, helping people. So therefore. Well, since you are offering, I am not one to refuse generosity. There I suppose. Well, if the group has no other ideas for investigations here and whatnot, uh, I would definitely, as the narrator, suggest heading back to meet with uh, with Jing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. sounds good to us. Excellent. Fast travel sound effect, go! Smash! 
I bet you're wondering how we got into this situation, even though <laughs> it's obvious. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hit we just fall through a tub's roof. <laughs> yes. Um. So, uh, yeah, I didn't move anyone. So I'll just pretend you walked in and he's still sitting there at the table. <laughs> yeah, hasn't moved a muscle. No, he has you not. Fucking loser shit by himself. <laughs> um, it looks like he never left. He did absolutely leave, don't worry. Oh, no. Uh, pretend there's also more people in the bar. I'm just not, I'm just not willing to put minis down for everyone. You're fine. Well, yeah. good. What, what Hello. is what's lying by why? Like in universe? Yeah, in universe. Uh, by now it's like late afternoon. You're out for, you know, probably like a uh, three or so hours. Both uh, wasn't that long of a walk, but you know, spending time there talking with uh your uh, the uh gold willow, investigating and then coming back here. Uh, it's been a bit. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Shang. We have... The Triant has left, and it is now in the village of bird people. Hmm. Yes. He gave me a flower. <laughs> and Magnus has points of a flower in his head. <laughs> yes, he was quite a sweet man. Nice. Um, Jing, uh... Uh, greets you all with like a simple bow as he stands from his chair and says excellent uh, yes my uh, sources do confirm that the treant was seen leaving uh, towards the southern forest towards the uh, Corvid village which uh, is quite interesting uh, I know the treants get along quite well with the, the bird folk there did uh, uh I heard some reports that said it uh, seemed to be Looking a bit uh, roughed up, did you have to fight it at all? No. It was injured when we saw it. Hmm. Do you know by what? Perhaps. He kind of raises an eyebrow at uh, Drexel's answer. Perhaps how? <laughs> Are we getting paid to solve the mystery? Or paid to make it leave. I see. That's the type of game you want to play. <laughs> then answer me one question and I'll give you your payment. Was it attacked by a citizen of the city? Hopefully not. That would be a very, very odd citizen. He gives a bit of a... Kind of like, you know, sh you know, squints his eyes a little bit as he kind of like looks and uh, discerns uh, you. What's he going to roll? Oh, it's shit. Like, bro, it was a maggot thing. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Are yeah, there any maggots yeah. in your city? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, that, was that some sort of yeah, mechanical creature what, what grew flesh on, onto itself? Well... Don't worry, he, uh, he, uh, decides that, uh, your implication is clearly to mean that it was some kind of a wild creature that attacked it. So, he lifts a pouch from his belt and says, I knew that, uh, the city council would, uh, understand this matter. I told them I had a group on it. They seemed quite insistent that some random vagabonds couldn't uh, solve this issue, but... They're always a bit stuck up when it comes to travelers and outsiders. Although, uh, I'm getting the feeling one of you may not be an outsider. And he kind of looks at, a uh, Cypress, having clearly started to, uh, figure out some things. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cypress blinks, uh, and they're like, Oh, yes, no, I live here. I did never, I did not say otherwise, did I? No, I you did not. No reason I just did not catch it, I suppose. <laughs> and is that eight gold that we're getting? Sorry, I'm just putting in my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> no. Um, yes, he. he no, looks I'm, this is this is not my character voice. This is me talking. That's fair. That's fair. Um, uh, he looks at uh, he looks at you, and says, 
Yes, you've done well. The Trient has gone his way to go recuperate with the bird folk. I'll make sure we keep an eye on him just in case, but I suspect they're usually good about keeping their word, so I think the full eight gold for resolving this matter peacefully and quite quickly is uh, fully in order. Well, thank you. Um, and after after we've all gotten our gold, I'll speak up and say... Yeah, we fought real quick. It, um, it, when Magnus receives his gold, it, he turns to, to Drexel and says, it, You were complaining about money before. Have some of mine. It, and Magnus hands our four gold coins to Drexel. Oh, thank you. That is quite kind. I did not expect that. So, uh, yeah. why are you setting every death flag for your character? <laughs> he's too good. He's like too good. He's not allowed. He's gonna die. <laughs> All right, time. Okay, it's it's the it's the it's the Ma Magnus Protection Squad. Um, Magnus yeah. Protection Squad. That's the name of the party. <laughs> Uh, first of all, we're the yeah, short king. For Thank you very much. Um, Dude, um, <laughs> I really want short kings to be our party. <laughs> that works too. Um, anyway, so, yeah, so after, like, he he definitely, <laughs> like, you can see that Drexel looks, like, very touched that, like, he, he's usually quite monochrome, but he's very touched that you that you just gave him that generously. Um, I have little need for money anyway. I have less needs than fleshies. Well, there are many people who have no need for money, who hoard it anyways. Speaking of, um... Have you ever heard of... Yeah. I didn't... I can't hear what you're saying. You just cut out Cypher. Yeah, super bad. <laughs> Alright, I just made a joke. Don't, don't worry yeah. about it. Don't okay, worry okay. about it. It was just a okay. joke. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna turn back to, to Jing and say, um... Would your order perhaps have interest in finding out more about why the Triant was acting so erratically? Would that be something they would pay for? Uh, he kind of raises his hand to his uh, beard and kind of strokes it a little. Uh, he looks over your group. Well, I have other jobs for you as well, but perhaps we could... Uh, Add that on to the list of things. I am worried that there might be some actual serious claim to whatever this treant was irritated by, and if it's something that is actually a corruptive magic of some form, I would certainly like to deal with that. Arcanes has enough well, struggles as it is. I will say that you are on the correct track in assuming exactly what it was. However, our group is the only one that actually knows the specifics, meaning that we are the only people you can hire to deal with it. Correct? Um, he looks at you and kind of stands from the chair and, like, slowly takes a few steps through you. Not, like, aggressively, but, like, kind of, like, you know, looking you, like, like, staring you down, like, trying to get a read on you. Yeah, he's just still, you know? Mm -hmm. He's just an... An edgy boy, like he's just like very stiff posture. He has metal in his spine, so he's not particularly relaxed or anxious. Mm -hmm. He's just no, like looking, you. looking up at him with his fucking short ass stature, like looking up at you with a very like, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty confident that what I said is completely correct. Kind of stare. <laughs> hmm. And he's kind of just looking at you, kind of thinking, before he finally answers, You know, what makes you think I don't know the details that you already know? Well, if that is the case, then that would mean that you are possibly involved with it. Maybe the Triant was correct in its assumption. You rush to an assumption of guilt and not that I simply have a lot of sources after being in this town for quite a while. Tell me, were you followed on your way there? Mm. 
we never fought a rock. <laughs> I actually rolled passive perception checks for you both before you met the tree willow and while you're investigating the cave and you failed both times. That's really funny. <laughs> That's really funny, especially because Cypress rolled the nat 20 while they were walking on doing a thing <laughs> that they would notice anyone. <laughs> yes. He tilts um, his head and he says, were we? You'll see, it's it's because when you rolled the nat 20, you weren't actually being followed. Otherwise, I would have said you noticed someone. Okay. <laughs> it's specifically at the tree end. Um... But yes, he kind of strokes his chin, says, Well, you weren't followed to the mountain, but I have uh, my own uh, friends too, shall we say. Um, he gives a bit of a, like, a noise with, like, his uh, mouth. And, like, out from the front open door, just uh, swoops in this, like, uh, very, very pretty... Uh, uh, a uh, 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 owl that like flies over to him and like sits on the back of the chair he was sitting at. It's like a it, it's a normal owl in like size and stature, uh, and is mostly brown. But like the the trimming of its uh like a uh, uh, chest feathers that goes down and whatnot is like this very vibrant green. Ooh, and it has uh sexy. has a <laughs> it has a very large like ice blue eyes. <laughs> hmm. Hit. Magnus looks at the owl and says, Nice February licorice. Rowlet looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, did, what did Magnus say? Sorry, I was... <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, um, hey, 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 he looked at the owl and said, Nice February licorice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Drexel just sort of looks, he sees like lip kind of twitch with like extreme anger uh, but like it's very subtle um, mm -hmm. and he just sort of narrows his eyes and says okay I left him there to keep an eye on the Ent to ensure that it remained there while you went and followed it it uh, saw after I left him there after I had uh, visited him earlier in the day and had it follow him so I can tell you right now, I did in fact uh, see that it was not you who attacked the treant. I simply wish to make sure you would not lie about that. Why would we? Says, well, as I'm sure you're suspicious of having just met me and wary to trust me, I am wary to put my trust in people I too have just met. Plus, I wanted to assure that if you did end up giving it a lethal blow, that you need not try and come and claim that you had, in fact, let it go so you could get the full reward. Hmm. Yeah, but hit. Magnus will look towards Shing and say, hit, trust should be freely given until, hit, until it needs to be questioned. In some cases, well, yes. That is completely incorrect. Yeah, and is going to be like, I believe that is, that is an understandable caution to have. Someone, uh, I am surprised that... Magnus, have you ever met a politician before? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I've met very few people before leaving home. Well then, that explains that. <laughs> ah, do not be angered. The construct is a mind of a child. Let's let it enjoy its innocence while it still has it. I am ten. No need. <laughs> Thousand yards there. Uh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. But yes, you, have, no. <laughs> you have merely just given us empirical evidence for Mr. Jing's claim. Yes. 
<laughs> Zhang kind of reaches so. down and scratches the chin of his owl familiar and looks at you all. But I can safely say that uh, I am pleased with the work you've done. You're definitely going to find employment here with me if it is interested you. Oh my gosh, do I need to get the bonk sound effect out? <laughs> <laughs> Can't leave <Braylon>. No. <laughs> let free thirst. <laughs> yeah, let me thirst. It's a compliment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes, no. He uh, he looks at you all and says, uh, "This inn happens to have uh, five rooms free. I've uh, taken the liberty for for you of actually talking with the owners. I've." been friends of uh, the couple that own this place for many years now. Uh, though friendly couple, I'm sure you'll meet them soon. They're currently uh, having some family matters at the moment, but I'm sure you'll meet them as you stay here. They they like to keep an eye on the place personally. But yes, each of you across through the curtain to the route are, are, are the standard rooms I've gotten for all of you. You'll find a desk and storage for you and sizable beds for you all. I do not require a bed. Fair enough, but either but way... Perhaps your gizmo could use it for... Mm. It's, you it's know, deserves all the being comforts. a dog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, well, I suppose we can discuss further employ opportuni employment opportunities come tomorrow then? Uh, right before you answer that, the uh, Diasmo finally realizes it was being talked about and just kind of looks at the group as a whole. Yes. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> before it, uh... Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> but yes, no, um... He uh, looks at you and says, yes, I think uh, you've deserved some rest and I still have some other matters I need to deal with. I will get some, get whatever is most relevant and what is most urgent. I shall have some of my own people keep an eye on these corruption matters. Uh, see if we can't find an excerpt who might be able to come and give us a hand with that. And as for the other things I need help with, I shall come with you, come here. Tomorrow, around noonish, I think, is good, and uh, we shall discuss what is probably most urgent for you to deal with. Understood. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree with that. Um, as as for the rate, thing, I, I, oh. I was going to say, as for the rate, uh, that will be dependent on the case, but I can promise you at the least a minimum of, you know, five gold for every case. But if you do everything, you know well and uh even excel at it i am of course willing to promote you uh pay you additionally i like to reward good good work i assure you will find that here excellent excellent yes are you are you available to um for company out sorry for that company and outside was that you're saying yeah, outside of work. Um, yeah, that's what they're, they're asking. <laughs> I'm very sorry. They're like, Manoy friend, Manoy friend, Manoy <laughs> Jesus. I'm not simping, I swear. <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my hey. god. Hey. My goodness. I mean... <laughs> Cypress won't you... say no. Okay. Uh, he looks at her. <laughs> he looks at or he looks at them. He looks at Cypress uh, with a uh, uh, friendly smile. Uh, walks around uh, to get more closer to her, and says, uh, "Perhaps another time we can uh, find a better moment to uh, sit down and have a conversation." But unfortunately, for now, I am quite busy with uh, responsibilities. 
Uh, yeah, Cypress nods, um, and they're like, I understand. Um, yes, let me know when you are available, and I likely will be as well. She's like, I'm fine. Cut to her in her room after everyone leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I got turned down. Um, Get back down. Um, hmm. Well then. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he gives a... <laughs> oh god. He gives a, <laughs> a bit of a fucking a... a uh, walk uh, around and gives another uh, bow to you all. Uh, I shall meet you here at noon and uh, we shall discuss the next case for you all. Uh, good work today uh, and I look forward to working with you all. And uh, as he's walking away, oh, and be sure not to uh, cause any troubles. Uh, you'll find the butterflies are good for more than just decoration if you do. And uh, like he just gives a bit of a smirk and walks out. Butterflies? <laughs> yeah, the minute he, he leaves, uh, Drexel, who has been, I guess, holding a glass or something. I don't know. There's drinks. Uh, just fucking, the, he just breaks it. He just, like, crushes it. He's fucking fist. <laughs> so fucking mad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Tip. Tip. Magnus starts, casti starts casti passing mending on a cup. <laughs> yeah. For uh, for the butterfly comment uh, earlier, I realized I forgot to explain how the tavern looked, and uh, its unique thing is it's called the metal butter the metal butterfly inn, and it literally has mm. tiny like metal mechanical butterflies just adorned yeah, yeah, over the walls oh, of the drinking gotcha. room. Oh, gotcha. Yes, I was confused. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's all good. Gotcha. Yeah. They're not represented on the map in any way. Drexel, you be upset here. Let me heal you. We're gonna heal you. Yeah, he offers his hand. You see, like, embedded um, in his palm are, like, a bunch of, like, things. I don't know, like, various pieces of machinery. <laughs> Jeez. Fucking <God>. asshole. <laughs> I thought he was quite nice. Well. Holy shit. <laughs> Better healer than London. I was gonna say the anti-London. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If Drexel um, gets healed for too much and dies. <laughs> I have never felt so much positive energy. <laughs> oh my god, this reminds me of a great joke. <laughs> There's a great clip from text to speech that is appropriate to that, where it's like the dark Eldar are getting hit, like hit with waves of positivity and just start melting. They're like, ah, oh, the sunny D burns my skin, but I just feel like vibing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he is the kind of nice that I dislike. Oh, Posturing sorry, or that. something. Condescending. I'm familiar with the type. Mm. <laughs> well, mm. does anyone have any special things or anything they would like to do before we wrap up session? Uh, I'd like to propose to Shing. Um, right. Now. <laughs> um, <laughs> New <laughs> <No. Hondo. laughs> Jesus. He kind of looks like size yeah. X too. <laughs> <sighs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here, that's here. so sad. Here, here, here. All, all Magnus was going to do was just here, here spend spend most one night just here studying for butterflies on the wall, trying to see how we're made. Fair, fair. And if, here, and if there's anything Cyprus special is going to about them, fight in with their new friends instead of heading home. Home, just gonna oh. vibe with them. Drexel loves fucking this fucking dog. Magnus is fucking dog. He, he, he is going to play tug of war with this dog. Mm. Ah, adorable. <laughs> and his he, he has he has a tail, um, which is cybernetically enhanced, so it's quite durable. So he's like dog, 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 dog. Uh -huh. Cute. <laughs> 
metal dog. So yeah, he will be bonding with Gizmo because fuck the rest Aww. of you guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, G- Gizmo does have a strength of fourteen. Okay, How about a... well, you know, um, I have a magical armor that makes me god. So, um, <laughs> so. Uh... How about Digiana? Uh, Digiana gonna do anything special? Uh, not really. He's just gonna. He's, he's just immediately gonna go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Annika's probably gonna do that too. She doesn't care about you enough yet. I I imagine Digion like the minute that the guy leaves the room, Digion just passes out the fucking. Table. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, hey, he, he doesn't. <laughs> He, he doesn't even go to bed, he he sleeps on the time with so. He's like, I right, well, job's done. <laughs> yeah, Annika's gonna, Annika's gonna be like, I will see you all in the morning and go to the bed, and I call the bed one because aesthetic. Well, she is a peach. Um. <laughs> um. Yes. yes. Every, everyone can claim a room, you can move your mini there, and that will be your room. <laughs> Although I guess uh, yeah, I guess Cypress doesn't have to have a room here. Uh, Cypress doesn't have to have a room, but they'll let everyone else because um, you know they they don't technically need one. Um, but you know yeah, they I'm... they want to hang out with their new friends, and they're not home very often anyway. So yeah, everyone's out yeah, there at I'm the pe- noon for meeting except Cypress. Cypress is like uh, Jing's like, where are they? They go to Cypress' room. Cypress is just on the bed in lingerie. Oh, hello, Jing. <laughs> yeah. Um. When I go to when I go when Whoa, I go to bed, I'm gonna boy. cast uh I'm gonna cast alarm on my door, so I will know if anyone oh. comes home. Oh. He's so yeah. paranoid. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm pissed. I'm actually debating whether or not to have Maggie in his own room or just he shares. I would just share a room with someone. Pissed because he he doesn't need uh, a bed and he and he'll leave it for someone else who it does. Uh, Cypress will hang out with Magnus if Magnus is down. Uh, uh, he's down. Excellent. Hell yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I definitely hang out with you guys uh, before sure. I have to go to bed, but baby baby, baby needs his long home rest, okay? Um, mm-hmm. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So gonna... I, only need, I, I only need four hours of sleep. Uh, what do you say? Dijin is going to do one thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, just more uh, flavorish-y kind of thing, but uh, um, he's going to actually use encode thoughts um, I don't know this thing. It's, it's this. Yeah. Uh, little thing. Uh, cause, and he's just gonna have it, like, cause you can just turn any like thought, idea, memory thing into. He's going to turn. Uh, a an idea, or I guess it's just uh, a reminder for him uh, to g- go visit the tree ends when he wakes up. Uh, that way he doesn't go and forget about it after he goes to sleep. Okay, here, which room is yours? And I can literally draw the strand. <laughs> Blue one. Two have been claimed so far. <laughs> a red one and a purple one have been claimed. Blue and a red one. Uh, I'm in the blue room. Yeah, let's go, blue man group. Oh my gosh. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> blue room. Uh, free hand. A blue man group. group. Um... We got the 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 tech the tech bros tech bros, um twenty seven club um we're almost there we almost got everyone twenty seven club let's go twenty seven hit points <laughs> there we go there we go your your blue yeah, strand of memory is there <laughs> yeah. Let's which go. room? Which room will be the Cypress slash Magnus room? 
That's a good question. Here, here do we want green or red? <laughs> They're both Christmas colors. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> Cypress prefers green over red because magic stuff, but, uh, you know, it's really up to you. They don't give a shit that much. Okay. You get the green one. You know, then we... Yep. <laughs> We're green. Yeah, I was gonna say... Green! Green! Magnus just would have spent spent time studying for butterflies until he, until he uh, knew he had to sleep or he got kicked out of a bar area. Fair, fair. Uh, they would close oh. up the actual bar area at, uh, at noon, so that's when they would probably ask you to go to your... Or at midnight, so that's when they would ask you to go to your room. Yeah, yeah. I just imagine here yeah, all of our patrons were wondering what the hell this contract was doing, <laughs> just <laughs> going along the walls. <laughs> He's so little. Ah. Ah. Uh, yes. Very good. Very wholesome, <laughs> for the most part. Uh. So yeah, there we go. What That's part first of that session. wasn't wholesome. Uh, you. Anytime. Uh, Jing was on screen. <laughs> 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 I'm I'm a I'm a Cypress I'm a Cypress Jing <laughs> Cypress Jing enjoyer. We need to come up with a good ship name. Um, Cypress. Cypress. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad ship name. My Jingaling. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was a really good session. I'm not gonna lie. I've already had Annika Cypress Jing thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I'm um, glad it was. Uh, I, yeah, I had a lot of fun. That was so fun. <laughs> I took five and a half pages. Of yeah, it was fun. No. Jesus, how did you get five I'm, and a yeah, half no, pages? I, 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 I did I not know like how nothing. how 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 Dex was gonna be until I played him, and I was like, oh no, he's such an <laughs> asshole. Yeah, I, I get that. Him. Well, I'm a I'm a I'm I, a I'm a Drex. Stan. Yeah. I'm a stand of everyone in this party. They're so fucking good. Sorry for saying the fuck yeah. word a lot. I hope that won't get me banned. All. No, the forward fuck. My, um, my stream is marked as a mature this, stream. This stream's so getting banned because of the f word. It's because of me. <laughs> yes. I, I find it interesting how Annika, Annika agrees and disagrees with Drexel on various different things. Uh, yeah. I I'm interested yeah. to see where that ends up. Um. Drexel is very opinionated, but he's also um, very uh, utilitarian, I suppose. Yeah, be, like in the not trusting things, she was like, "Yeah, he's right. That makes sense." And in term, but in, in the government things, are like, it's not their job to morally correct. That's just that's the job to do what they do. Mm -hmm. Well, Drexel's yeah, like, we're, um, we're getting paid so... to be morally correct here, so if you don't <laughs> want to be, don't take the job. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. This was just like, give me my money. Um, <laughs> like, like if the job is to clean the bathroom and you're getting paid to clean the bathroom, no shit, they don't want you to remove the toilet from the bathroom. <laughs> the only reason she was complaining because she she doesn't like getting punished for something she doesn't consider her fault. So the so the whole thing of getting attacked and losing money anyway set set wrong with her. Whoa. Yeah. Cypress okay. liked being. Cypress was just like, hee hee, Manoy friend, makes sense to me. I am a Jing stan. I am a Jing fucking supporter. Drexel oh, hates him. Drexel wants this man to cry. Annika doesn't have a problem with him because she's dealt with people like him and she's like, I think I have an understanding of why this guy like he is. It's fine people that exist. No reason to get angry. Do you guys want to hear? Okay, so the thing is, is that... Um... I'm looking at Drexel's flaws right now, and I'm like, oh my fucking god, this is great. This is great. This is what great. are they? Um, I'm not telling you. It's a stream, baby. I'm not spoiling yes. it. Um, yes, we are on stream still. We're still live. It's, it's so silly. Uh, by the way, if you, uh, if you want, um, I can um, post photos of the note. Um, don't make fun of me. Ooh. I spelled tree ant wrong the entire fucking time. Oh, That's fuck. totally fine. Oh, I thought it was tree ant. I don't not care. Tree ant. Yeah, I oh. thought it was tree ant as well. Um, and one word. Don't well. worry. Yeah, me too. Um, don't worry. Don't worry. We are can, both idiots. I can. I can. 
post pictures of the notes. I literally wrote everything down so I shouldn't forget anything. Um, uh, for sure. Um, oh, thank yeah. you very much, Rova. You know, yeah, 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 no, no it was worries. great. I love, I love everyone's characters. I, Digi, G, Digimon's voice is so like that. That's such a good accent. I'm like, it's, oh my yes. god, no, it it's makes very me good. so happy whenever it's he very good. It. Okay, I'm Digimon glad because uh, I never, I never practiced. <laughs> 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 That's it's a best, good the best, voice. The best voices yeah. come from without practice. And yes, I loved um yeah. Bro Cypress is so cute and, mm -hmm. and and like sweet and oh my god. And I I love the, the rapport that they have with my, my guy. Um Mag I mean Magnus. Mr. MVP. I, 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 yeah, I have um, no idea how it, else going to find him until we actually started. I love him. He's so good. The the holy magic sold me on the fucking party. I was like, ah, I see. <laughs> All right. Well, yes. <laughs> this is the type of party we are. Yeah, like Annika just takes, just she took that and decided to roll with it. She doesn't. She saw no. She like this guy is probably just this dumb. So I'm going to roll with it. Uh, no, Drexel. Uh, he trusts no one, but he trusts Gizmo. With his life, no. Um, <laughs> I mean, Etika yeah, doesn't trust anyone either. Um, that, but um, that no. I mean, for the holy magic thing, I just think it's really funny that we all went. Yeah, there's probably magic that has holes in it. Fuck, <laughs> I've never heard of it. I, was, I, can, was good. Yeah, I, I considered her spelling it out holy and then it clicking, but I thought it would be funnier to play along with it. Yeah, it would be. Um, that was good. But yeah, no. yeah, but anyway, that 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 moment, I was like, uh, the... I see why they will all become friends. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. I yes, I I, I, had, mean, like, I had so much fun. This is great. I yeah. promise, uh, Annika will eventually mm -hmm. be your friend. She's just a, in place right now. That's fine. Yeah. You're you don't have to come to the picnic. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah. Ma yeah. No. Magnus just um... likes everything. Magnus likes everything pretty damn literally, and and he sees what people what he's current currently with as friends. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> Hellion. That was a very good session. Uh, you have a good sleep. I'll see you next stream, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of sleep, I need yeah. to get it. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, I need to I'm, find. Okay. I will love talking I'm very about session too. in server with you guys. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> Yes. I'm. Right. I had a lot more fun than I anticipated because I wasn't really sure if I would like Drexel, but I had a lot of fun. So yeah, was... Drexel's really fun. Yeah, I, had a fun. I want to I love... one more thing because I'm probably also gonna not interact at all for like uh, a week. <laughs> <laughs> um, which this is mainly about Drexel, though it oh. didn't really show up this time. Digian is not a fan at all of. Uh, enhancing nature with technology. Mm -hmm. <laughs> interesting. I, interesting. You see, I can't say anything about <laughs> Drexel's opinions on that at all. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> because there is like everything. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I forget, it, it slipped my mind that corruption magic was a thing because after day you start. And then I realized, you know what? Actually, yeah, Annika's entire thing would fit corruption magic basically perfectly. Yes. We're not doing any corruption mechanic. I'm not dealing with that shit. Mm -hmm. it, it can be in purely fluff stuff. Um, yeah. But yes, uh, and tropic magic is 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 corrupting. So, um, Trevor if... doesn't give a fuck about corruption. He's just like, bro. Yeah. Um, this is possibly problematic for me. <laughs> if if you post campaign art or campaign notes or any kind of tweets, you know, related to it, uh, there is the uh, we'll do a hashtag for now at least of just Deus Mortis. Uh, uh, okay. Mhm. Mm um. Oh yeah. Hello. I will also real quick uh, shout out to uh, only two of the players really have Twitter, but uh, if you want to follow them, they both do art and they're really good at it. And everything, so you can follow uh, Adox and Bree, uh, yes. Drexel and Cypress, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I have. I have even even more asshole OCs. Like <laughs> Drexel is tame. Um. <laughs> yes. Drexel's a lot nicer than Poe. 
<laughs> yes. Jack Salt one nicer than Poe, thirty times nicer than Rackham's gonna be. Um... Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be that's gonna oh, be boy. fun. Oh yeah. Oh boy. I mean, I... <laughs> But yeah, uh, I'm gonna hop off if it's good. Um, yeah. Here, anyway, well, good night, here. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, here. Uh, before... I, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was gonna say uh, before you hop off the call, everyone. Uh, we're all yeah. Good night to everyone. Good night to the chat. Um, it's been a hell of a fun stream, and I hope to see you all next week when we do it again. I'm very excited for next. I session. will be. Yeah. Me too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Me too. <laughs> good night, y'all. Yeah. Bye. Night. Bye. See ya. Night. Bye. <laughs> well, damn it. I here, here, here. Just here, just a sec, because I'm actually going to end stream too, because I'm kind of tired too. <laughs> I didn't realize you were still streaming. Yeah, no, I, I have been this whole time. So, but yes. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. That was uh, a bit funny. <sighs> but yes, no. Uh, to everyone still here, I guess I'll wait a sec so uh, Bookworm can give a proper uh, goodbye and everything. But uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, everyone who showed up. We actually had enough people talking in chat that I got achievement. This is the first time we've had 10 different people put a chat message in during the stream, which is uh, super good. Our viewership's uh, been really high. I've gotten follows and we've gotten some subs. I'm really happy. This is a good stream. And and the RPG itself was a lot ton of fun. I was uh, very, very nervous, to be honest. <laughs> uh, it's been a few months since I had done this. And it's the uh, first time ever doing RPG on stream. Uh, we had a bit of a scuffed here, there, because, uh, you know, it's me. <laughs> but uh, it was a lot of fun. It really, really was. Um, yeah, so thank you everyone who stopped by. Thank you for, for, for hanging out. Thanks for redeems. Thanks for the raid from Az. That was great. It was great. It was super duper great. I'm so happy. I'm so freaking happy about this. It was so good. Oh, fuck. Um, tomorrow night we'll stream again. Uh, not 100% sure what we'll do. I kind of want to play more Deus. We'll probably start it around the same time as we did today. Probably play more Deus X. And then after that, if people are up to it, I'll probably jump into multiplayer of either Barrow Trauma or uh, Deep Rock Galactic, depending on who is free and whatnot. Uh, we shall uh, know more tomorrow. I'll make sure to tweet it out beforehand again. Uh, next week, we'll probably start the stream at either the same time or a little bit earlier. We all met at like 6 p.m. my time to, you know, get the final things ready and make sure we're all good to go and all that jazz. But uh, yeah, that was a very fun stream and that was a lot of fun. I am I'm starting to feel a headache come on. I think that's more just my anxiety and wearing these headphones and just uh, being tired and probably not drinking enough water. I did a lot of talking and did not drink enough water. <laughs> I need more hydrate redeems. Jeez, maybe I should turn off the cooldown on it. <laughs> ah, Gold Willow's voice was a uh, a bit a uh, uh, yes, a uh, good one, Bookworm. Yes, I'll drink another water, even though I just did that. Yeah, but, uh, right. Yes. <laughs> That was a lot of fun, but I think it's uh, time to call it a night for this stream. <laughs> we do have seven people with us. We do. We should do a raid. Uh, that is a good good idea. Yeah, uh, we, can raid either, we can raid another D&D group for Unexpectables. Which we can. Which we actually have end end of the campaign. I'm just... Yeah, piping the the Twitch into what's chat. Okay. Are they are they live right now? Yeah, yeah, they're live. I've been going for two two and a half hours, nearly three. Oh wow! If I if I normally go for three to four hours. Connor, what was panic? And okay. Um. I mean, I guess we could raid them actually. 
I don't have any better options <laughs> or well better ideas. Uh uh uh. Yeah. yeah. We've got to send these people somewhere, but that is fair. That is fair. In my, yeah. Yeah, keep in mind, they are at the end of a campaign, so so if if you want to watch what end and not have spoilers, maybe just just hey, that's get in, actually get out. a fair point. That's that's fair. Um, but still, I'd like to. Yeah, Plus, just... yeah, we'll do that. Here, I'll set this up. What yeah. is the channel's name? It's can I? I'm sure I can read them unless they have that turned off, which they might. Because I know that's a thing. No, you can I have do. it on. Do they have it on? Okay. Yeah, if I've been. I've been raided before, but I don't if I don't acknowledge raids or chats unless they're on their break. That's fair. That's fair. Yep. Oh. I'll do that right now. Might as well send y'all somewhere. Uh, Taka yep. had and all are pretty yep. entertaining. Yeah. Uh, do we have a message for him? Uh, 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 no. What would be a good message? Um. Yes. I'm 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 kind of partial to praise the small king. <laughs> praise the small king. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the hydrate on you. Yeah. I shall also take that real quick. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Praise the small king. I'm kind of partial to this. Sure, sure. We shall do this. <laughs> we'll do this. Sure, why the hell not? <laughs> All right, raid. Um, the Unexpectables. There you go. Unexpectables. There we go. Okay. Raid is set to go. Uh, thank you, everyone. It's been a hell of a lot of fun time. Feel free to paste the message of praise the small king when we arrive. And uh, yeah. Uh, I hope to see you all tomorrow for stream and next week, of course, for more D&D. &D. So thank you, everyone. Have a good night and I'll see you around. Bye bye.